ho, ho. Guys, we are checking out today. Guys, we have had a blast here at the Grand America. Just honestly, what a magical time of year to celebrate Thanksgiving, welcome in the Christmas season. Lindsay and Mindy have decked us out in some really cool outfits. The outfits do not stop. They continue on today. In fact, check this out. Are you ready for this? Turn, I feel like you've uh, been really uh, bad this year. Ah, what about you, Ash? You've been, you've been pretty naughty, I think. Ta-da! What about you, Lando? I think I've been pretty good. Actually, he's saying he's been pretty good, so don't bug his. What about you, Dad? Well, I feel like I've been actually really good this year. So good. I'm gonna keep it. Actually, you know, I've been like half good, I feel like. There we go, I've been like half good. Ava, have you been naughty or nice this year? Nice. That's what it says, but I mean, maybe you've been just a little bit naughty? Yeah. Just a little bit, maybe, yeah. No, you've been nice. We'll switch it back. So guys, we are off to breakfast with This Is How We Bingham this morning. We're gonna go to a place that I've been dying to go to called Sweet Biscuits and Limeade. It looks like it has some delicious breakfast food along with some delicious limeades. And then we're gonna head back home. We're checking out today. So it is Black Friday. Turn has been begging to do some Black Friday deals. And you know, we're not big in-store shoppers. We really like the online convenience of shopping. And so we might look for some Black Friday deals that are floating around there on the internet that could help with some Christmas ideas that uh, some of the kids have mentioned. So we're gonna spend the day doing that. I wanna go on Nintendo Switch. Nintendo and Switch, okay. And then I want um, that. Um, that princess jeep. The princess jeep, okay, we'll see if we can find that on Black Friday. A pro scooter or a minky maybe? A pro scooter or a minky? Okay, I bet you there's having Black Friday deals there. I do know what Lindsay wants, and I can't tell you because she'll see the video, but I'm gonna see if I can't find it on Black Friday today. If Landon's ever missing, he's either on an elevator <laughs> or he's outside of the door playing with the door keys. You guys, here are the keys, right? They're like a key card, but an actual physical key. And watch Lana show it off here real quick. I'll try as many times until they work. Yeah, you gotta pull it out. There you go, donezo. So guys, here's what a two day trip looks like as far as packing goes. You just never know what you're gonna need, right? Winter clothes over here, those are our coats. However, the one bag that is missing, the biggest bag of them all, but arguably the most important bag of them all is... The bag is like three times the size of everyone else's. <laughs> An elevator full of Binghams and Elves. All stuff packed up, sad that we're leaving. File out, Binghams. You're nice elves. So Brandon, uh, what was the verdict on you? Hey, wait, you did half and half I'm like- half broski, so I'm 90. <laughs> let it be known, everyone, hey, that Brandon actually stole my idea because I did that earlier. Really? Looks like you're just straight and naughty. <laughs> <laughs> have both of you girls been nice? According to these shirts, you have been. <laughs> one's naughty and one's nice, I think. There you go, Hazy, you sweat. You <laughs> Do you think everyone enjoyed their meals here? It is. I dare say so. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. All right, you guys, we are home safe. A blizzard of a storm has come to grace itself upon our home here in Utah. So let's take a guess right now, guys. How many inches of snow are outside? I don't know. Uh, I think it's probably like six. Okay, Lana says six inches. Ashy? Three inches. Three inches. Okay, turn, what are you guessing? Seven. Turn guesses seven inches. Okay, I'm gonna actually go with Ash and I'm gonna go just under three inches. But guys, we have a ton of snow, and so what do you do when it snows like this? You go build a snowman. Do you wanna build a snowman? You go shovel, you go play in the snow, you go have a snowball fight. So come join us for the very first official, in my opinion, snowfall. We've had you know snow dr drizzles and things like that, some flurries, but guys, this is sticking to the ground. It is official, winter is here, Christmas is coming, we are gonna go outside and enjoy snow. All right, here we go, guys. Official measurement. What'd you guess, Ashy? I can't see it. Right there. 
Official measurement is just under three inches. We've gotten under three inches of snow just today, and it's only like two o'clock in the afternoon, and it's still snowing. So there's a good chance, guys, we'll end up with, I'd say probably five inches by the end of the night, which is incredible, which means ski season is around the corner, and Lindsay is truly mocking me, literally <laughs> right behind the camera. Like, if you could see her, she's like right around the side making I don't fun know what of he's me. talking about. Check this out. Look at this snow. Get this party started. How are we doing, twins? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Who? Yeah, <gasps> what? I got a new helper. Hello, Ava. Do you want to try that? Okay, grab that one right over there. There you go, girl. Now I've got three amazing helpers. <laughs> now guys, obviously, given where we live, I could easily justify a snowblower. But the truth is, I don't want one. I don't want one because I didn't grow up with one. And I loved those times where I could shovel the walks and the driveway with my dad. And honestly, I love seeing my kids out here helping me do it. It's a blast, it's fun, we get to play in the snow. We get to have fun little memories of snowstorms and coming out and shoveling the walks. So it's clear for the cars to get out and clear for the people to come visit us. So for me, it's kind of a bonding experience. I think the kids really like it too. So I tried to carry that tradition on a little bit where we're just kind of a no snowblower family. Why have a snowblower when I got technically four of them, right? Turin, Ashton, Landon, Ava. All right, you guys, a little friendly snowball fight we've been challenged to. Teams will be against Ashton and Landon, the dynamic duo. Are you ready for this? We should be, uh, we should be the unicorn. We're team unicorn against the dynamic duo. Yeah. Let's do it. A neighbor over here. <laughs> Boom! Lana, what are you laughing at? You better hit the snowball, boy. Boom! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Justin has been having a great time playing in this beautiful snowstorm with the kids, and I have been unpacking and trying to get laundry done and get our house in order a little bit because we've got a busy week ahead of us. And Turin ran over to a friend's house and came home just a few minutes later in a lot of pain. And we're a little bit worried that he may have broken his arm. We're hoping it's just a sprain or a strain, but I've never seen him in this much pain before. So I'm a little bit worried. I don't want him to have a broken bone. That's no fun. So we have driven him over to the Instacare to find out what's going on. He was playing with some friends and a ball got thrown, a heavy ball. And I guess it was a 10 pound weight ball. And his arm was on the couch and it was bent, you know, at his elbow like this, and the ball hit him here and just, I don't even know. I don't even totally understand it, but he's in a ton of pain. We let him just kind of wait it out a little bit. There's not a lot of swelling. There's actually no swelling at all, which Justin's hesitant to think that it's broken, but he's just in so much pain and I just want to know what's going on. So, so we're here at the Instacare with cute Turbo, going to see what's going on. She's squeezing your good arm. <laughs> All right, Turbo, show him which arm it is. It hurts so bad he's having a hard time holding it up. It's on there? Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you take any ibuprofen or anything? Mm -mm, not yet. Okay. 
Okay, the doctor just came in, checked out his arm. We're gonna get some x-rays and just see if there's any sort of a fracture in there. He said that it actually can be broken even if it doesn't swell, because he doesn't have any swelling. The pain just hasn't gotten any better. He can't hold his arm up, so we're gonna see what's going on in there, crossing our fingers. Okay, the good news here is that it's not Turin's dominant arm, so he can still do all of his homework, <laughs> but he can barely hold it up. Totally is hurting him. Show him where. Right here. And the pain's not getting any better, huh? Mm -mm. Off the bat, that there is a fracture right in through here. Wow. Okay, it's very subtle. It's kind of like a hairline fracture. So you can see it right there. Okay. So it's not a growth plate injury, nothing like that. So most likely you would just have to do a cast for maybe about four to six weeks. Um, so can he not play soccer? Probably not, no. Really? Yeah. For four to six weeks? Probably, yeah, probably, probably around a month or so. As long as the cast is on or just... Um... Well, you know, soccer is a little bit different. That's going to be a coach's call. And it's also going to be up to the sports medicine doctor that actually puts the cast on. Yeah, we just do a temporary splint here. Except at DPL, he just finished a regional soccer competition. So at least he didn't hurt it before that. Yeah, yeah that's good. So this is a pretty minimal fracture in it's general? It's very slight. It's non-surgical, it's just going to fill in over time and heal up, and it's not a growth plate injury either. So guys, they're going to come in and put the splint on and then give you the sports medicine referral. Hey. Hi, Dad. Hey, buddy. We got the news. What? I broke my arm. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, son, I'm so sorry. It's fine. Oh, buddy. I love you. I'm so sorry, man. So they're putting a splint on me now, and then... Next week, I have to get uh, a real cast on. Oh, uh, for how long? Four to six weeks. Oh, buddy. Well, it looks like you'll be wearing a cast maybe for Christmas, huh? Maybe. Okay, yeah, we'll call you yeah. back. Hold on. All right. Okay, love you. Love you too, bye. I honestly had no idea it was really going to be broken. I'm totally shocked. The question is, what color cast are you going to choose? <laughs> Whatever colors they have. What are you thinking? Blue, pink. Ooh, I like that. Can I be the first one to sign it? I am your mom. I do. I did give birth to you. Ooh, he doesn't know if he wants anyone to sign it. I'd rather have it be clean. Yeah, I kind of think I can see that. Maybe what you do is have everybody sign it the last day, right before they cut it off. Yeah, Your soccer didn't. team's going to be sad. Luckily, there's no BPL, Sam. It's not for a it's long true. time. It's true. It's actually the very best time that someone could be out for it's soccer. Like right after BPL. Nothing well, matters after this, honestly. Yeah. It's futsal. They don't have outdoor until March again, so it's like the perfect time. So I can take it off temporarily to make sure there's no source. Right. Okay, got it. And to shower, right? Nope. You have to just put his arm in a bag and... Or bag. Oh, okay. so just tie a plastic bag around it. Yeah. Ava, what'd you just say? You said, why do you only have one arm? <laughs> That's what you just asked him. Give him hugs. Oh, he... Guys, Turin is an extreme athlete here. And so for him to have a broken arm is a bit of a setback for sure, especially with the snow just falling and sledding. But you know what? This kid... And skiing. He loves to ski. We were talking on the way home and he was just feeling kind of bummed. I just was telling him, I know it's such a bummer. I seriously feel so bad. But I just said, that's life. We're just going to have to make the best of it and put on a happy attitude. Mother's intuition here. She came to me and said, hey, I think I should take him to urgent care. And I said, no, Turin's tough. There's no need to take him to urgent care. You know, I did my doctor exam <laughs> on him. Felt like uh, my doctor opinion was that uh, he was fine. So an hour or so passed, and then I uh, kind of went back and checked his arm again. It wasn't swollen. It had no, no indication swelling. of swelling mm -mm. or red marks or anything. So I kind of just pinched on those two bones, you know, probably six inches above his wrist, and he just, he's kind of winced in pain. So he I said, did. ah, well, might be wise to probably just send him in. And so lo and behold, Lindsay was right. Well, it's funny because, you know, my gut just kept telling me that. Turn, you know, he gets hurt here or there. He's very active kid. So he collides with other kids in sports at recess outside and he'll be in pain and then it will go away. And this pain was just not going away and it seemed kind of intense. And so my gut just said, this is different. Thankfully, it's not really a super bad break, which means he'll heal quickly. He doesn't have to have surgery. So considering all bone breaks, it's not a bad one and it will heal quickly. And there could not be a more perfect time of year to miss soccer because it's just indoor. He's already played three futsal games and I think he only would have played one more before Christmas. So he'll miss yeah. some indoor practices and he'll miss one indoor game and that's it. Obviously, you know, I just feel bad overall. He'll miss some RSL games too. He will miss some RSL games, but 
Overall, I think it's a good time of year. It's never a great time to break your arm though, and I'm so sorry. It's no fun when you have a hard time opening your own car door and you can't hold anything. And I mean, thankfully it's not your right arm, but yeah, we're gonna make the best of it. All right, Ashley and Landon just got home from Uncle Sean's. They are shocked. They had no idea that Turbo Big Brother has a broken arm. What do you guys think? Uh, I did not see that coming at all. The entire time, like, I thought it didn't look small at all. I know, so we thought he was fine. You guys, he has to get a cast. Like a actual cast? Believe that? He has to get a cast. What color do you think you should get? Uh, turquoise. All right, you guys. Hey, coming on here just to close out. Wow, what a uh, what a day! Not what we were expecting at all. Not at all, especially with the surprise we have dropping tomorrow morning. We had a um, lot to do in a short amount of time. I was coming home to unpack, do laundry, and pack up the house and just get it all done. Maybe do a little Black Friday shopping, and we spent a little while taking care of that sweet little boy. And he is a little bit bummed. He's a little down, and he's still in pain. We got him some ibuprofen. I think he's feeling a little bit better. I'm hoping he sleeps tonight. I don't think he's very comfortable. Anyway, guys, all right, we're gonna hit the hay. We'll come back tomorrow for an awesome surprise. The kids are gonna be so excited. A morning surprise. If you have not, subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. We are uploading daily videos. Check out Lindsay's Instagram, Our Life in Holland, as well as her blog uh, for some great content that you won't find here on YouTube. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Guys, we are up. We definitely slept in a little bit longer than normal this morning, but we are up after a nice long road trip. Way longer than we anticipated, but honestly, it was fun just being able to spend time in the car with the family. And we arrived to our hotel super late. Guys, this morning when I woke up, Ava woke me up. She's like, Dad, look. What'd you say? The castle's princess. The princess castle. Look, the princess castle. Yeah. Guys, she is like, on cloud nine over here, getting ready to go to Disneyland tomorrow. If you have not already seen our ear piercing video, cute little Ava got her ears pierced about three weeks ago, a little over three weeks ago, and she has not been able to switch out her earrings yet. So she today, for the very first time, gets to put in some new earrings. She's been wearing the ones that they put in when they pierced her ears, so she's choosing her very first pair of earrings. Mermaid. <gasps> Mermaid ones. Wow. That's what you're choosing is the mermaid one? I got one? Rose's ones too. We might have to get some special Disney earrings. What do you think? Like Mickey Mouse and like all the Mickey Mouse. We totally stuff. should, huh? I'm trying to get that off without hurting her. Tur just volunteered to help uh, out Lindsay here. So Tur, how would you help, huh? I wasn't thinking. I probably could. <laughs> I'm like so nervous that I have to do it fast. So guys, comment down below if you think Turin is really good at doing his hair with one arm. That is what hair looks like with a broken arm. <laughs> You've gotta fix your hair, man. I tried. Uh, oh, wow, those little mermaids look amazing. Wow. Twins, you guys ready? Yeah. We've got Mickey, and then we have Minnie. Minnie, and then we have Goofy. <laughs> Are you Goofy? Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, what would you call yourself? Are you Goofy or Pluto? You're Pluto, man. And Mom is Daisy. Thank you, Donald. Guys, this is kind of funny, but Lindsay always has to stand on her tippy toes when she's next to me on the camera. I'm actually not that short. <laughs> I'm definitely wow. short in the Bingham family. Okay, we are headed to go get some breakfast. We're gonna go check out the beach. Just have a relaxing day before we head to Disneyland tomorrow. Or a not so relaxing day. Yeah, it's so <laughs> fun, but it's like from the second you wake up to the second you go to bed, super long days. So we're just having a little rest day in between. And guys, Ashton on the way down, he's like, we're not used to this warm weather. I'm like, buddy, we live in the desert. But apparently it's pretty warm out here. For you Californians, this probably isn't considered warm, but for us, we're actually really enjoying this weather considering we just left a blizzardy snowstorm back in Utah. This weather's beautiful. It's like the perfect in-between weather. Not too hot, not too cold, just pleasant. Guys, where did we find for breakfast? Guys, we just put this into Google and found a spot, but it looks pretty legit. Are you kidding me? What have we got ourselves into? Man, does that look good to you? Yeah. Guys, orchata French toast. Tur, what are you gonna do with it? Drink it. <laughs> well, guys, I think it's safe to say, <gasps> Ava, did you enjoy breakfast? You 
guys, we have made it to sunny California and to the beach. It is definitely a little colder, I think, than we were all anticipating. In fact, Ava here is pretty stoked to get out her little sand toys, and she certainly wants her bathing suit, but guys, I don't think anyone's getting in the water. But guys, we are at Newport Beach today. We're gonna hang out for a bit. We're gonna build some sand castles. Guys, I love the ocean. Lindsay and I, honestly, I would say if you were to cut our arm, we would bleed salt water. Lindsay, would you agree? You for sure. Guys, I love the ocean. I don't know why I don't live near the ocean. Probably because I honestly love the mountains as well too. We really do. But we love it down here. This is our Beautiful. favorite spot. It's cold today. It is definitely a little chilly. I've never been to the beach when it's been this cold. So Santa Monica down to Laguna are really just our favorite beach spots. of Turbo in Arizona, then you might be able to guess what he loves to do at the beach. He loves to catch these like little mini crabs. He's a creature catcher. And Turbo, look, follow my finger. Shh, right over those rocks, we're gonna find some crabs. Even with his broken arm, he was the first one in the ocean. <laughs> look at Ava. <laughs> Why does it smell so bad? Uh, sorry, man, Brad, that, that was me. <laughs> It's gonna be a pile of mush. I know. <laughs> Let's see, Dad. What you got? I know. Oh. <laughs> you proved me wrong. <laughs> so Eva. Yes! 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 <laughs> so guys, one thing you have probably noticed about Mr. Landon here is he loves water. He loves anything that has to do with swimming or surfing or tubing. But Landon, tell us why you love the water so much. Why do you love it? Because it's kind of fun to play in and, and you, it's really deep and I, love, I really like swimming. There's always wet sand and it's also fun to swim in. All right guys, we are on the crab hunt. Turn has recruited a couple recruits. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And Boom. camel. <laughs> now, Turn has been designated the crab grabber. Actually, wait, no, you can't grab any crabs because you've got a broken arm. Oh, we didn't bring a bucket, dang it. That's all right. We'll just stick them in your uh, sling. Is that cool? I'm good. <laughs> nope. Ash, you want to be the designated crab grabber? Yes. Miss Ava and I are just snuggling on the beach. It's a little bit chilly, right? She was yeah. building a sand castle and then she got wet and then she got a little bit cold. So we're just snuggling over here under some towels. Watching the waves crash into the sand. Yeah, and then it makes it like straight. Wish you Merry Christmas. Merry Merry Christmas. He knows if you've been fat or good, so good for goodness sake. You have to look for a mermaid with the pirate thing. Yeah. See if you can see any in the ocean. Nobody can. Can't see any. <laughs> Where is the mermaid in the ocean? Yeah. Are they sleep? Do they sleep? Sometimes. You guys see any? No. Careful turn. Don't okay. be breaking your arm there. <laughs> oh, you already did. Bad joke. Uh, now, Tur, this rock is slippery, buddy. So I need you to be careful, okay? If you walk straight up that way, it's not slippery at all. What'd you find, Lando? Yes. Seashells, nice, buddy. You should make a necklace out of those. Hookah shell necklace. You found two? Okay, coming. Found two, they're right under there. Oh, I see him now. Okay, get down there. Turns on a hot lead here. Oh, there he is. Okay, hang on. Turn, spook, spook him out on the other side. Spook him out. Let me see. We're in a race. I'm coming, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we haven't caught a crab yet. <laughs> you really haven't? No, we've been trying this entire time. Hey, Jet, nice short. Stuck? <laughs> yeah. Can you not get your leg? <laughs> there we go. Guys, so we came up empty handed on the whole crab hunt. I mean, we saw crabs, but I just couldn't get in there. My fingers weren't small enough to get in there. All right, guys, the sun is going down. Guys, look at this sunset real quick. Just breathtaking. Oh, now it's even more breathtaking. <laughs> So now, where are we headed, Linz? We're gonna go to Duck Donuts. The one in Utah is not open yet. We're gonna go get our fix here in California. So guys, update on that, in case you're wondering, grand opening has been shifted to January 10th now. So you're gonna have to break all your New Year's diet. Yeah, you're gonna have to. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go, come on. Hey guys, we decided to come back to our room and have a little pizza party. Pizza, pizza party! But guys, we decided to just play it a little low key tonight. Didn't go out to dinner or anything like that. Wanted to come back to the hotel and just enjoy kind of a little quiet night before the uh, mayhem hits tomorrow at Disneyland. Yep, we're relaxing tonight. Pizza party in the room, baby. Pizza party. All right guys, I wanted to give you the nighttime view of our hotel here from our balcony. That's not really a balcony, it's outside our front door of Disneyland. Okay, you guys, before we came back to the hotel for the pizza party, we made a quick stop at Target to just get a few things before tomorrow. And as I was coming back to the car with my groceries, a young kid approached me and asked if I wanted to buy pixie sticks. And without even thinking, I said, no, thank you. And then as he kind of tried to talk to me, I wasn't super friendly and I got in the car and it was like, it hit me. And I just, as we drove away, I just said, Justin, I feel really bad. I feel like I totally handled that situation poorly. I said, I just wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking about the fact that this young boy was standing in a parking lot on a Sunday night trying to sell pixie sticks. And I just really, really regretted it. And as I told the story, cute turn in the back seat was just feeling terrible. And he just kept saying, I feel really bad, I feel really bad. And anyway, we got back to the hotel and I just couldn't shake the feeling. So we are waiting for our car to come pick us up. We're gonna run to the bank and I had no cash on me at the time when we were there. And so we're gonna go get some cash and take him a drink and hope that he's still there. It just was one of those things where we just can't shake the feeling and feel like this sweet boy is you know, working hard probably to help his family. And you know, for whatever reason, he's standing in a Target parking lot on a Sunday night selling Pixie Sticks. So hoping that we can go make the situation right. Turns, grab some Gatorades to share with him when we get there. Okay, we just stopped at the bank, pulled some money out of the ATM, and now we are headed over to Target parking lot, hoping that he's still there. We've got Ashley with us and Turin with us. Let's go team. Okay, I'm like on the verge of tears over here because we drove through the Target parking lot like four times, every single aisle looking for him. We couldn't find him. So Ashton and Turin both said, Mom, well, let me backtrack here for a second. When I went to go get money out of the ATM, I told them how much money I was gonna give him if we found him and Turin said, hey, well, you know, if if you give him this much money, then I'll, I'll give you some of mine when we get home. And Ashton said, me too. And so they basically doubled what I was gonna give him. And anyway, we drove through the parking lot over and over again and we couldn't find him. So they said, let's just go walk through Target. So I don't think he'll be inside, but we can. So we walked through Target and came back out the exit doors and next thing we knew he was standing right there having a snack. So we went over and talked to him. He was like the nicest boy and I just said, you know what, I just want to apologize because I wasn't super friendly to you earlier and I just think it's really cool that you're out here working hard and said, do you do this very often? He said, yeah, I do it a couple times a week. So anyway, we just had a conversation. He asked how Turin broke his arm and just kind of talked to him for a little while and gave him some money and told him to have a great night and a Merry Christmas and headed back to our car. And I hope more than anything, my sweet, generous little boys over here just know that sometimes in life we make mistakes and we're too busy or we're 
not thinking or we're not considerate and uh, I think the lesson I learned tonight is to always be kind and to always be generous and to not get so distracted with you know I think I was in a hurry back to the car I was already taking too long in the store and kids were restless and Justin was ready and I just let it get the best of me and I just wasn't friendly and kind and generous and so I think it was just a good lesson learned for me tonight and I feel grateful that we had the opportunity to make it right I think there was a good chance we wouldn't have found him and I'm just really grateful that we did so good job Ashton and Turin you guys are such good examples to me does that feel good yes that was so lucky that we found him up there because we searched the whole store. I know. I feel like it was so lucky. And then mom's like, oh, he's right there, he's right there. We were praying in the parking lot. I said, you guys keep paying so prayers nice. that we'll find him. And we did. Our prayers were answered tonight. He's so nice. Yeah, that's the first thing Taryn said when we got to the back of the car. Oh my gosh, mom, that kid was such a stud. Good night, Landon. Good night. Good night, Ashy. Good night, Ava. Okay you guys, target mission accomplished. Feeling super grateful that we were able to find him and uh, have that experience tonight. Grateful for my cute kids that have such good hearts and it all worked out. We are heading to bed so that we can be rested for day one at Disneyland tomorrow. Good night everybody. Are you ready to go to Disneyland? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Adventure. Yeah, today we're in California Adventure and we're just excited to be here and to see all the fun Christmas festivities. You guys, it's decorated in Christmas. I can't wait till tonight when it all lights up. But guys, there's Christmas everywhere. Look at that big Christmas tree behind us there. Look at that. I yeah, like the other one. So we've got our fast passes all ready to go. We've already got two rides that we have fast passes for. The Cars Ride and Toy Story Mania. Oh, and we're gonna go, no, no, not Toy Story. We're doing Soarin' because that's when Turin can do. Oh, Incredicoaster. Yeah. Landon loves Incredicoaster. Guys, I love Guardians of Galaxy. Ashley's Guardians. So these twins love these adrenaline junkie roller coasters. They're mini Justins. So we got to do a couple of those. But look at little turn over here, guys. If this was uh, Winnie the Pooh, you'd be Eeyore. <laughs> so guys, turn can't do much. We are gonna do a couple rides that I think are permitted according to the doctor. We're gonna have a good time. It's but regard. Over here. Regardless, we're gonna have a good time. So, in true Lindsay fashion, of course, you can't go to Disneyland without matching shirts. So, we have Mini, my beauty, and then we have Mini, me. Look at that. <laughs> You're mini me and a beautiful hat. Okay, these next shirts will look familiar to those of you who follow This Is How We Bingham because Mindy showed me these shirts. They're so cute. They're from Tilly's. They're Neff shirts. Since my boys are getting older, I thought, okay, they'll still wear a Mickey shirt if it's from Tilly's. So we've got the daddy version, the broken arm version, Ashy, and, and the Landon, twin version. and the twin version. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Guys, this is arguably our favorite ride here at California Adventure. You hearing that? This is Turn's favorite ride. This is probably my favorite ride at honestly, both Disneyland and California Adventure. So to be able to do this first is awesome. This is probably the only ride I can't do. One of the only ones. So we're gonna do it multiple times today? Yes. I'm just excited for Guardian of the Galaxy. Tell me what ride you want to go on the most. Um, I'm gonna try this one out and I'll finish it. Oh yeah. Let's go. Turn to town. We are ready for takeoff. Oh my goodness, here we go. Are you so excited? Whoa! She's squeezing my hand so hard. Our second favorite ride in the park is what, Lambo? Car ride! 
Oh my gosh. Let's go in the car. Woo, woo. Okay, we've got Turbo and Ashy in the front. Daddy and Lando and Ava in the back. Woo. This is Ava's first time ever on the Cars ride. Woo. a bad spark plug, Dippy. Not only need to be fast. <laughs> Ava, what did you think of the car's ride? Good. You liked it? We're going on Guardians of the Galaxy and Turin can't come. So he's gonna keep himself busy doing what? Lemonade. It's called comfort eating. <laughs> Ash, Lando, the one you've been waiting for. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, I think I'm most excited to capture Lindy's reaction on this one because she's never been on it. First timer. And she's not one for the uh, the big drop. So we're gonna see what kind of reaction we get out of her today. This just in, Lindsay says she has to uh, use the little girl's room. And I don't think this ride is really uh, gonna help at all. You know that. what else doesn't help? Sneezing, jumping, pretty much anything. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, Lana works so hard. Even just get upstairs at a ride. Don't you, buddy? Yeah. All right, guys, this just in. Landon has to pee now, too. I don't think they realize this ride is not conducive to one having to use the restroom. I've never been on this ride before. I don't know what it feels like. Well, you hope you don't pee your pants, right? Yeah, Turin would have, Turin would have probably them. died on that yeah, ride. <laughs> score on this? Dad. Who? Dad. Lando, are you going to try to beat the high score? Uh, yeah. I don't know what my high score is. Alright, contest begins. Here we go. Ava, you ready? <laughs> Turbo, how are you going to do this, huh? Twindles, pull the string fast. Pull it really fast. Here's Mom and Ava. Now, Tur, we're gonna tag team this. I'll hold it and aim it, you pull it, all right? Ava, look! This is what you call teamwork over here in the medium household. Turn, I'm sacrificing my high score for you to get the high score today. Hey, twins! Best, best. Go, 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 go! Go, get him, get him, get him! Turbo and I, with a broken arm, achieved 91,000. Ava, come here. What'd you say? You won. What was your score? Okay, I got zero because I was Turin's aimer and he was the trigger finger. So, goose egg for me. Turbo, you ready? No, not all. Only one. No, just one. Ready? I I'm only focusing on one. Okay. One. Ready, set, go. No. <laughs> Dang it. 
They're everywhere. Disney characters are everywhere, aren't they? Is this the most magical place on Earth? Justin said he wants to try a churro from every destination. Peppermint is our first stop. I'm on the other side. <laughs> Go on. All right, guys, we are going on the infamous Credit Coaster. Guys, once again, Ashton and Landon show that they are not scared of these adult roller coasters. I, on the other hand, certainly get sick to my stomach. But these two are adrenaline junkies up in here. Landon, what are you most excited about this roller coaster? The loop? Oh, yeah. It's so fun. I'm the one that drinks you and give you the stomach drops. <laughs> My dad hates it. He always thinks it makes him sick. And what else is my other favorite ride is the Grizzly Bear, even though we haven't even done it yet. We're passing it right now, the Grizzly one. Yeah. In fact, Dad, when are we going to do that one? We're on a hunt for another churro, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to go to each churro station. The first one that we went to was Peppermint. And did you like it, Dad? <laughs> I loved it, yes. Thank you for asking. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, milk and cookies churro. Ooh, milk and cookies sounds good. I kind of want to do Sword Over the World again, don't you? Oh, yeah, but what's kind of boring about it, you're not actually over the world. No, you are. You didn't no, know that? No, Dad, it's just in a room. No, no, no. You actually soar over the world. No, you don't. You really do? No, it's a, it's a video, dude. Dude, it's not. That's really flying. <laughs> no, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> He's getting too old to trick, I think. We are having the best time at the happiest place on earth. We have had really great luck getting on rides really quickly with our fast passes. It's really not busy for Disneyland. Now having said that, there's a lot of people here, but it's really not busy. I think we picked a really great day to come. The weather's beautiful. Now that the sun's going down, it's getting a little chilly. So we're putting our coats back on, but it's so fun to be here at Christmas time. They have holiday treats, every kind of churro you could think of. They've got Christmas decorations everywhere, Christmas music playing everywhere. The little parade just came through. So we're gonna head over and try to get a reservation at a place, Lamplight Lounge on the pier. There used to be Ariel's Grotto there where all the princesses were. Now Which it's is a my favorite spot. Love the Disney I'm kind of sad that they don't do that anymore. It was just so cute for little girls. So we're gonna head over there, see if we can get a reservation for dinner, and then we're gonna hit up a few more rides, and then we've got World of Color later. Now when I say that this is the happiest place on Earth, it's the happiest place on Earth for children, because our kids are currently doing this. It is called the Lamplight Lounge. And guys, this time of night, it is beautiful. The whole park is lit up. We sit outside, right over the water. Let's eat. Ratatouille, chicken sandwich. Ava, are you happy with your dinner? 
Twins? Oh yeah. Lando? Oh yeah, we're so happy. <laughs> Guys, Turin walked off and does not know that we're no longer there. <laughs> hey, buddy! <laughs> Guys, the sun has gone down, which means the Christmas lights have come out. <laughs> Look at Lindsay making fun of me. <laughs> making fun again. Disneyland is lit up with Christmas lights. trying to get turn to dance with her. He just keeps pulling away. <laughs> Did you get one? Go get him. Alright, this is the first for us. We have never been on this ride. Monsters University ride. Okay, we are just at Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that's probably one of my favorite rides because you drop and I love stuff like that. My dad did, didn't love it, but after he was like, okay, that's my favorite ride. Favorite ride, hands down, Gardens of the Galaxy favorite ride. Yes. Lana, would you agree? Yes, I would agree. <laughs> We're so tired. <laughs> Look at turn back there. Oh, broken arm boy. 
<laughs> it's like so sad to see him wave like that. We are staying the closest we ever have to the front gates and it was so awesome tonight because we were so tired and we got home so fast. And the kids and I were talking about how this was the earliest we've ever come home from Disneyland and how we were all ready. It wasn't like any of the kids were like, let's keep going on rides. We were all just ready. We're tired. California Adventure did not seem that busy today. But, it was not. But I definitely think that uh, those fast passes, uh, we did every ride we wanted to at least twice. Right? We didn't wait in any lines. We were really lucky. Yeah. The only ride that we didn't have to wait in line was, uh, what do we call it, Monsters, Inc. And I think there's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Did Ava fell fast? asleep before World of Color started, which was kind of sad because I think she would have loved it. That World of Color is beautiful. I was the one pushing for that because I, it was Christmas themed. It was by far my favorite World of Color. You throw Christmas songs in there and I'm just... In it's love. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we are going to hit the hay. We are tired. Uh, we have Disneyland tomorrow. So today was California Adventure. Tomorrow is Disneyland, which I honestly think is probably our favorite. I think at Christmas time, it's going to be so fun. I think it's our favorite because it's just Disneyland. I think Ava's going to really love that one tomorrow the most just because it's geared a little bit more towards kids, whereas California Adventure, I think, is geared a little bit more towards adults. Can I just say that my very favorite thing about Disneyland and California Adventure is the Cars Ride. I love the Cars Ride. I could go on it like six times. I think that it's a split decision here, though, because I think that we love, what do we love, twins? Guardians of the Galaxy. Those twins love that one. And that was like pure torture for me. <laughs> I literally was closing my eyes the whole time, just like, Ew. okay, how many more times could it possibly go straight up and drop again? Like there can't be that many more times. I was just closing my eyes. <laughs> and I remember like my face, my face would just freeze. Like I would just be like. <laughs> and then I would like push against Justin to try to brace the next one. I would just kept the whole time I kept thinking, Turn would literally die on this ride. He <laughs> hates drops so much. There's something about it though. I love that ride. Oh, I feel like my body's gonna come out of me. Does that even make any sense? No, it doesn't make any sense at all, actually. <laughs> well, guys, we are gonna go to bed. Tomorrow, join us at Disneyland for our final day. We are actually here till Wednesday, but it is our last day in any park. So come back tomorrow. If you haven't already, like our video, comment down below, tell us your favorite part of Disneyland. And also comment down below if you think that someday we should visit Disney World. That is somewhere we have never been. I actually didn't go to any Disney parks growing up because I lived in Wisconsin, which is not close to either one. So I'm actually pretty new to Disneyland, but I would love to visit Disney World someday. Yeah, so if you guys have been there before and you think it's a good spot, we'd love to hear your ideas. For a Disney cruise. Disney Alani, there's so many Disney's. A lot of Disney's. A lot of Disney's. We love Disney. Disney, you're great. <laughs> Alright guys, we will see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, everybody. I just pulled Turin and Ashton and Landon out of school a few minutes early because today is the big day. Turin is getting his permanent cast put on. It actually worked out perfectly because they won't put a cast on for five to seven days after a break. So it worked out perfectly that the day we got home from Disneyland, we're able to get him in and get his permanent cast on. Hopefully get this arm healing quickly so he can get back to his regular life. Turin actually had his very first day back to school today with a broken arm. He actually came home and told me that one of his teachers excused a lot of his missing assignments because of his broken arm, which I thought was so sweet of his teacher. How was it? Back, was it kind of hard? Yeah, it's hard to write. Is it hard to write? Well, I have to like stabilize my paper on him, but I really can't. You so I had to tape my paper. paper down every time I got inside. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the fact that you hold a paper when you're writing. So even though it's not your dominant hand that you write with, you mm -hmm. needed your left hand to hold the paper. Yeah, and I had to paint it in. It was kind of hard. And they still had you paint? Oh my goodness. How was it like at lunchtime? I was fine. Kid helped me eat. A kid helped you eat? What would you like got out my sauce. What was lunch today? Chicken nuggets. So you opened your sauce for you? What else did you And just to be funny, he fed me a chicken nugget. <laughs> what does everyone think of your broken arm? Were they surprised or did they kind of already know? A lot of kids, they said they already knew. I have no idea how. So what did you do at recess? Uh, I walked around. That's really all you did? Yeah. You couldn't play any sport? No. That's probably really weird for you. Were you all by yourself? Uh, no, I did. Two kids. That hung out with you? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, so the question is, is he gonna get a candy cane cast, red and white? Is candy he gonna cane. get <laughs> get a candy cane cast? I don't know. Or is he gonna get red and green for Christmas? Or pink because he just, loves pink. Or black. Or black. Or teal. Or teal. Or blue. Or gold. Or gold sparkles. <laughs> Good idea. Or silver. Eva. Or silver. What are you kind of thinking? Have you thought about it at all? Red. 
like, I kind of want black. The cool thing about black is if you have people sign it, we could get like those cool metallic markers, yeah. like gold and silver. Mm -hmm. But are you thinking you're not going to have anybody sign it for a while? I don't care. Keep it looking clean. Black will definitely stay clean looking, so that's good. Yeah. Maybe he could get a shirt and cover on it on his cast. I'm going to have to lock his door at night so you don't go in there and color on his cast. <laughs> Probably will. <laughs> I'm teasing you. If you was up and looking on your phone, then I'll sneak out and then... <laughs> no, don't do that. And then you see, well, where's Ava? <laughs> <laughs> Where would you see your paints at today? Probably a three. Okay. It's really not bad. If you see me back here again, that means we'll be casting it. Actually, you might still see me because you might put a brace on it. Oh, okay. God. A brace, like, like an arm brace. Oh yeah. So I might not need to cast. Yeah. It's a okay? cliffhanger. Cast or no cast. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. He just unwrapped all of the ace wrap. We are waiting for the doctor to come in to tell us if he needs to be casted or not. I didn't even know it was an option to not be casted. That's where the break is. Can you feel it? Yeah. Freedom. <laughs> this feeling. The good oh, news is there were no like sores. so weird. Does it? <laughs> Alright, if I just touch your skin, does it feel normal? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to push around a little bit. Does this side hurt at all? Not as much. A little bit right there. Tell me when. Later. Yeah. Okay. How about up in your elbow? Is that okay? Yeah. Go ahead and show me just uh, flexing your elbow up this way. Good. And then let it straighten. Good. It's going to be a tiny bit stiff just because your elbow is yeah, kind of stuck in the Yeah, it just feels all because it'll like move it down. But that'll get better real quick. Okay. Are you in sports right now? Yes. Yeah? What are you in? Soccer and I'm going to do basketball. Got it. As long as we have it protected, you can play soccer too. So really? It's actually really good timing for all of us. So, it, so it's, there's not a worry of him falling? You hit the cast on, he's okay? Yeah, so we'll, we'll kind of go through it, but okay. it, you know, obviously when you have a cast on one arm, there's always going to be a risk that you could use your other arm to break a fall and hurt yourself on that side. But as long as you, know, you feel confident, you're going to have your elbow back no matter what we do today. So it's just going to be a short arm kind of thing. And so as long as you feel like you can keep it protected, it'll be totally fine just hanging out in the cast while you play soccer. Wow, cool. Yeah. But so these are the two bones in your forearm. So this is the one that's closer to your thumb, mm -hmm. and this is the one closer to your pinky. So where's the bone? Right there. There's that little thing right there. So we call these buckle fractures because the bone tends to bend instead of break all the way through, ah, and so it makes a little buckle. And when we look from the side, you can see a little better in here. Yeah. So we have two different options to treat this. Something that is going to start in the palm of your hand like this and kind of hold your thumb, and then it'll come up. Yep. And then it'll come up to about here. We can do it one of two ways. We can do a hard cast and the benefits of that are that we use waterproof materials so that if you want to swimming and that sort of thing it's going to get super wet so you may not want to do that but at least if it, if it gets wet you don't have to worry about it because it'll dry out. Um, it is nice and stable and so if you know you don't have to worry about taking it on or or off or anything like that. The other option that we have is to actually do a brace that would cover essentially the same place in your arm and it would be really sort of hard and rigid around it, but it Velcros on and off. So that way you could just take it off to take a shower, which is a little bit easier. And still sleeps with it on? Yep, you would still okay. want to wear it all the rest of the time, but at least you can like wash your hands and shower and do that Yeah. Stuff. Either way, you're going to be wearing it for about three weeks. Will my wrist try. be really stiff afterwards, do you think? It'll be a little stiff afterwards. Yeah. All right, so you see how there's a flat part right yes. here and a flat on the bottom? You just want to make sure Top that... Yeah. Wow, that's pretty easy. I do a brace, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> kind of like seems like a no-brainer, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Way, way better than a cast. Awesome. So wear all the time for the next three weeks. Okay, you guys, this was completely unexpected. I had no idea that a, not getting a cast was even an option. She said this is the very best break you can ever have and that it's really hard to break it worse and it just heals really easily. So she gave him the option of having a cast that's waterproof or a brace that he can take off to shower. And when she brought the brace in, it just felt like a no brainer. She said she's not worried about him taking it off. She said the only time she doesn't give people the option for a brace is if she can't trust them to keep it on. So it just felt like a no brainer. Look how easy, look how non-invasive this will feel for him compared to what he's been wearing for the last week. This is gonna feel amazing. Oh yeah, think? this is awesome. So, and she said that it should heal in three weeks from the injury. So two weeks from now. Yeah. Just crazy. Two weeks from tomorrow. Yeah. 
So I am so happy for him. This is going to be so much easier than a cast. The only downside is you can't have anybody sign it, but I'd, take, I'd still take the brace over the cast. So we get to come back in about two weeks and she's gonna check it and see if he still needs to wear it. She said that possibly by Christmas he won't even be in his brace anymore. So we are just feeling so grateful. All right, guys. Hey, my first time on camera today. Just got back uh, from the office. Oh, we got someone saying hello down here. Hello. 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 So, you guys probably heard the news about Turin's cast. Honestly, it's really good news. It was, I guess, I don't know if I can use the term perfect, but they say it was about as good as a break as you can get in terms of uh, healing. It'll heal very, very fast. They gave us two different options, either a short cast or a hard cast, and obviously we chose the obvious option, right? Why get a hard cast when we don't need one? Funny enough, he was probably excited to get some people to sign the cast in general. Thought it'd be kind of cool, but we ended up going with the short cast because it was just a smarter decision. So, a brace. I am back now. Lindsay is out, so I am uh, kind of uh, here with the kids at the house. She is at a wreath making class with Mindy, which is kind of cool, but she's given me the task of hanging the wreaths on the outside of the house. So that is what the kids and I are gonna do tonight. It does require a fair amount of heights. You gotta be comfortable with heights. The house is a taller house, and so we gotta be comfortable with heights. The only child we have that's very comfortable with heights is Ashton. But Ashton and I are gonna get up a little bit on the ladder. I'm not gonna let him go up too far, right? Cause I've gotta be careful. But I'm gonna go all the way up to the top of the house and hang some of these wreaths. And then I will show you guys the before and after of our house with wreaths and without. Gives the house a really good Christmas look for sure. All right guys, so here's the before without any wreaths. All right, Lando, I will walk up this one with you just to be safe, but you're welcome to hang it. So let's have you go up another three or four steps. Keep going. How you doing up there? I'm right behind you. I've got my hand right here on your foot. I got you. You're not gonna fall because I'm right here. I got you. You're only like five feet off the ground right now. Okay, all right, so stay right there. I'm coming up with you. Can you go up one more? Okay. All right, now lean into the ladder a little bit. There you go. Here's what we're gonna do here. Hang Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so reach through the ladder right here. Grab it, and you see that nail straight ahead? Okay, now reach all the way through. All right, so lean all the way forward, and you're gonna put it right there. I can't see it. All right, I got you. And let go. Boom. Boom, baby. <laughs> that was a little scary, but. <laughs> we did it though, didn't we? Can I hang right. up the next one? How will uh, we we'll let Ashley hang up the next no, one. No, but how will we get two each? We've got a ton left. So, okay, you, fine. so okay. the, these short windows, I'll let you guys do. The tall ones, I'm gonna do. All right, you guys. The twins and I have successfully hung nine out of the ten wreaths. We're leaving the best one for last. So the twins are mad that I'm not letting them go up to the tallest windows to hang wreaths. Again, you guys saw these uh, these guys in Disneyland. If you haven't checked out those videos, you got to look at our Disneyland videos. These guys are adrenaline junkies, so of course they're gonna want to go to the top. So I can only imagine how Lindsay would respond if I actually let them go to the very top of the roof. So they helped the little ones. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the very last big wreath. Where are we gonna hang it? Mm, oh, cool. there. Okay. All right, you guys, here's the finished product. We've got all the wreaths on the main windows. Main wreath up there. Now, the side of our house, we actually hang wreaths over here. We don't put Christmas lights, even though we should probably consider it, maybe. But we actually hang wreaths on these windows as well because they're totally visible to just this street here. And so, we didn't want to leave these blank. Landito, high five, brother. Good work. That was weird. Ashy, high five. Oh, my God. Oh, you missed me. <laughs> Whoops, we're going to miss. <laughs> Well, you said we did a weak one. Let's do a good one then. Oh, no, nah. that was, no, that was weak. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Good job, Annabelle. Hey, sit, sit. High fives. Yeah, it's a good girl. Here we go. All right, guys. Now that the wreaths are officially up on the house, the Christmas lights are up on the house. It just leaves the inside of the house now to decorate. Now, guys, we have an incredible Christmas tree that we actually got when we bought this house. I mean, you guys have seen our house tour. If you haven't, you have to check out our house tour. You can see how tall our ceilings are. They've gotta be close to 18 feet tall in our 
uh, uh, family room. So we have a Christmas tree that's gotta be at least 15 feet tall. And so you're not gonna wanna miss us setting up that tree. It's beautiful, really makes the house. It's kind of the centerpiece decoration for that family room. So you're gonna wanna check that out. We'll be putting that up this weekend. You guys, I just got home from a wreath making class. I've always wanted to do one of these. You make a wreath out of real greenery. It smells to die for. Smell that guys. <laughs> Can you smell that? I used five different kinds of greens and then a little bit of these like white berries as well. It turned out so beautiful. Finishing wreath for this year for 2019 is dun dun dun. A handmade wreath ladies and gentlemen from Lindsay Marie Bingham herself. <laughs> Lindsay do the honors my dear. Love it. I just love it. It smells amazing. <laughs> All right babe put it up. Oh, smell that Justin. Wow. <laughs> so silly. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I love that. <sighs> guys, it's getting cold. I told them that the Christmas tree is coming this weekend. You're not gonna wanna miss that. This is the latest we've ever put up our Christmas tree. I know. Tree. But we had a pretty packed Thanksgiving then off to Disneyland, and so we haven't oh, had time just yet. Oh, before that, I was in Arizona. This that is been true. A very, very busy holiday season, and we're so happy to be home for the holidays. There's nothing like home. So Lindsay's off to go get her nails done at Mindy's house. I'm gonna put the kids down to bed. You guys, I got an evening off, and it felt amazing. Well, good. So thank yes. you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Hey, if you have not subscribed down below, turn on that notification bell. We are going to upload some awesome videos this Christmas season. And hey, be sure to share it with a friend. And if you have not, be sure to check out Lindsay's blog. It's she, Lindsay is a phenomenal writer. So you got to go check out her posts over there. If you have not yet, please follow us on Instagram. It is Our Life in Holland. Check that out. Lindsay posts some awesome stories on there. Some great posts again that we try to keep outside of YouTube. Guys, if you have not uh, yet caught on to why our channel is called Our Life in Holland, I will link that video above now so you can go see that as well in the description some of you have asked why the name for the channel no we do not live in Holland but check that out because it has a deeper meaning to us as parents as to why we called our channel that so I also did a blog post that you can check out as well that kind of talks about you know why we started this whole journey and just want to say thanks to all of you for all your support and kindness and for following us along this has been such a ride and we're so grateful all right good night everyone see you tomorrow good night guys Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Picked up the kids from school. We are going to meet up with Justin because we are doing some secret Santa sibling shopping tonight. Now in the past, we have always done this where all the kids shop for everybody. So Turin shops for Ashton, Landon, and Ava. They all get a present for each of their siblings. This year we decided to do it a little bit differently. Because in the past we've done the dollar store. The dollar store is awesome. The kids have loved it. We decided to have them pick names so they each pick one sibling that they get to buy for. Keep it a secret, which makes it kind of fun. And they're gonna have a little bit more of a budget to get a present from a regular store this year. So we're gonna go get a quick bite to eat, pick names, and then we're gonna split up. Justin's gonna take two kids, I'm gonna take two kids, and we're gonna go shopping for their siblings tonight. I love doing this tradition because it's so fun to watch them get so excited to buy something for someone other than themselves. For them to think about their sibling, it just makes me happy. It's super fun, so I'm excited. We are gonna head out now and meet up with Justin. One of my favorite things to watch this year has been Turin insisting on getting everyone presents. He's been looking for really expensive shoes that he wants to get for dad, just over and over. Would dad wear these? And he has just been looking for everybody. It's really been pretty sweet. <laughs> Who did we find? Daddy! We got here and Miss Ava said, I just want daddy really, really bad. And she ran into the restaurant. And it hasn't left my side since. <laughs> okay, we are ready to pick names. I have drawn on four pieces of paper every single person's name. We are going to head to Target and one of us is gonna stay with the three that are not shopping and we're gonna rotate as they go shop for their secret Santa. All right, turns first. No looking, everyone go look that way. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, nice one. Ashy's up. We're waiting until this kid turns around because he's trying to peek. That's not gonna work. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Look how excited he is. He just giggled when he saw who it was. Who's up now? Landon. All right, pick your name. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do it under the table. I don't trust anybody in this room. Do you see who it is? Last but not least, who is it? Me. <laughs> okay. okay, grab the name. You have Lando. <laughs> All right, guys, here's what we've done. We have split up, and I am taking little Ava. Lindsay is going to take the next child. We're doing one child at a time. Mm -hmm. So, Ava, who'd you get? Lando. Lando, oh my goodness. 
genius. So we are gonna go shop for Mr. Landon right now. Now what is Landon like? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? What do you think he's gonna like? Maybe a teacup. A teacup? Like one of those? Ooh, like one of these teacups maybe? A boy. A boy. I'm gonna go with... <gasps> <laughs> She's distracted by her own ponies. I'm gonna go with he's gonna like something like electronic wise. We have a $20 budget. All right, so what do you see? We go into the electronic section, toy section, and see if we can find something you think Landon will love. Deal? Yeah, well, let's get one ticket. I did. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you'd like that? Oh. No. You went to the nutcracker though, huh? Yeah, I did. A sweatshirt? No. I don't want a sweatshirt. Okay, yeah, let's keep going. Come on. Ooh. A jersey? Okay, he might totally love a jersey. You think? Yeah. How about this? Before we decide, let's decide a bunch of different options and then we'll choose amongst all of our good options. Look at. I don't think he's gonna want underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we don't even have to continue shopping. Ava just found the perfect thing. Landon has been asking for a Real Salt Lake jersey. As you know from the Christmas wish list, he's been asking for this, and Ava just found one for $19.99. $20, we did it. My goodness, look who it is. Who is this? Olaf. No, it's Sven. <laughs> Sven is here. Hey, listen, let's go find mommy and switch off. You ready? Ava, are you ready? <laughs> She's mesmerized by toys. <gasps> Elsa sings. Oh my goodness, shut the front door. We are never gonna make it back in time. I got the perfect gift for Landon. Yes, you did. Here comes the decision maker herself. Hello, decision maker. Oh my heaven. So, Jersey, yep. initial reaction. Now, this is a T, right? Mm -hmm. The T, however, caveat, number on the back. We don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, whatever you like better. You're the dad. You're the dude. I would go with probably the jersey material. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys, the boss has spoken. Awesome job. We just got the thumbs up. All right, so we got to go check out now. You're going to buy it with your own money? Did you bring your wallet? I know. <laughs> Guess that means no. So we're going to go check out, and then we're going to sneak back to the rest of the family, and then we're going to send off the next person to go shop. Let's do it. You ready? Next up, Ashton is shopping for Turn. Turn was telling me all about how he really wants some rollerblades after he went I heard roller that. skating at Classic Skating the other day. So I don't know if they're in the budget, but we're gonna look. What do you think, Ash? Do you think that's a fun idea? Mm, or I might get him a little different, but we have to see if it's in the what budget What are you thinking? First. What's on your mind? I'm thinking of getting him something like that maybe, but he's already getting one for Christmas, but. Well, we'll see if he's getting one. I mean, Santa doesn't know if he's being good enough yet. Should we see if they have any rollerblades? Oh, I see some right here. Oh, well, those are kind of small for him. You think? Why don't you put them up to your feet and we'll see. <laughs> I'm being funny. Those are like little toddler skates. Oh, here's some. Oh, those are not $20. When did he say that he wanted a hydro flask? He just started giving me ideas. Just barely, barely? In Target? Were you? Did he really just say he wanted a hydro flask? Well, well I've already kind of known that. He's just trying to give you ideas. What a stinker. How about a Barbie? I think turns kind a of little into Barbie. That's about $25, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> what is this? Sure. Remote control car. Like what do you think he'll like better? Do you think he'll want a remote control car or do you think he'll want to do some rollerblading? Roller I think so too. I think he'll be pretty dang excited. Okay, Ashi is leaning towards getting him the rollerblades, but he's not totally decided. So he's going to carry him around while we just check out a few more options. Just keeping our options open here, folks. He's looked at dart guns, he's looked at remote control cars, and he's thinking that even though he might want some of those, that rollerblades are probably the one Turin wants the most. Ooh, we just almost ran into Turin. He almost just figured out who had him, what he was getting for Christmas, but we stopped in just the nick of time and ran the other direction. Ooh, disaster averted. We've got our gift right here, but Turin is down there. So we're gonna make a run for it. You ready, Ash? Okay, he's not looking, run, 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 run. Ash, you look for your gift. <laughs> nice one. We're gonna go hide it in the car because Turin is way too sneaky. 
He'll peek through that bag in a heartbeat. He'll probably know what it is because it's so big. Uh-huh, mission accomplished. High five. That was a fist pump. Do it. <laughs> we are shopping for Ashley. They are shopping for Don't tell anybody. All right, guys, it's my turn to go with Landon. What do you think Ashley wants? He thinks he wants a remote control car. A remote control car? He already has, like, two remote control cars. I don't think he ever drives them. Since you said that, I'm probably not going to get him one now. <laughs> All right, so let's go look for Mr. Ashton. Guys, we've got two kids down, two more to go. Mm -hmm. Guys, isn't it kind of cool that the twin gets a shot for the other twin? That's kind of special. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Who's going to know your twin better than anybody? Nobody. You know your twin better. Than okay, let's do it. What about an arcade game, a Pac-Man arcade game? It's 30 bucks, a little over budget. What do you think? Should we keep looking? The only thing is our neighbors have that, so. Oh, and is it cool or no? Actually, really cool. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let's maybe keep looking at our options here. I don't know, he, he might think that's fun for like 10 minutes, and then he might get bored of it. Oh, there's Lindsay, Lindsay. Gotta clear it with the boss again. All right, guys, the boss is here. <laughs> she tell me, she said, don't call me the boss. Lana, show mom what you're thinking. He does have a lot of shoes. All right, let's keep trying. The thing I can think of is that Ashley really likes Stan's socks. He does like socks. We could go get him some socks. We're gonna go look at designer socks. That's a great idea. Do you think he's gonna want this? Want this? Yeah. I don't really know. <laughs> okay, next. So we're having a little bit of trouble. The perfect gift for. So I enlisted Big Brother, who knows him better than everybody, and he goes, "Oh yeah, I've got you." So here we go. All right, Big Brother. What do you think Landon should get for Ashton? Tur, do you think it should be this over here? No, definitely not. Why? Basement hockey is really fun. Ooh, yeah, basement I, hockey, I that's a... Joneses. Ooh, Landon, what do you think that for the basement? That would be cool. You want to choose that? Sure. Ooh, that falls within the budget too, each $9.99. All right, you guys, this has been harder than I think we anticipated, hasn't it? Yeah. Shopping for Ashton has been hard. Hey, Ava, you're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> We set it on field hockey, and for good measure, we got two of them because there's two of them, right? We're, we're hoping he likes it. Has he ever played field hockey before? No? No, I've never played field hockey before, so this is his first time. <laughs> Landon's in a mellow mood tonight, which is uh, uncommon for Landon. Okay, let's go check out, shall we? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I couldn't advertise this to the other kids, but we didn't do any shopping for Turin at Target because he, for the longest time, has been begging to get Ava some Converse. Every time we're there, Mom, we have to get her these. Mom, can I buy her these? Can I buy Ava these shoes? Mom, Ava has to have these little Converse. Oh, they're so cute. He's like the cutest big brother. So he picked Ava's name. So where do you think we headed? Converse. All right, which ones are you thinking? Some classic pink high tops. How cute are those? You're looking at all your options. We've got some red sparkly ones. We've got some slightly sparkly pink ones. Some really sparkly pink ones. Blue ones. They've got a lot of girl shoes. So which one, red or pink, are you thinking? I think pink. I think so too. Did you bring your wallet? <laughs> Turn's gonna show you how he's... <laughs> how his broken arm is doing because it doesn't even look like it's broken by the way he's using it. I'm fine now. I'm fine now. Totally fine. Like fine enough to beat me in double shot? I can beat you if you want or not. Except we don't have a scorer. We gotta, we gotta get that part fixed. Okay, challenge. Okay. Turin's challenging me to a double shot competition with his broken arm. I think you're gonna get schooled Whatever. Turin just told me that I don't go to school, so I can't school him. Okay, the challenge is how many What's you make. Percentage out of 10. 10. 10 shots. Okay, all right. One for one. Two for two. Two for three. Three for four. Four for five. Five out of six. Six out of seven. Seven out of eight. I'm so in trouble. Eight out of nine. Nine out of ten. You're done. <laughs> and I am so much trouble. <laughs> Ready for this? Yes. One for one. Two for two. Crap, I'm scared. Ooh. Two for three. 
<laughs> turns the game. <laughs> Two, five, four out of six. Five out of seven. Five out of six out of eight. Seven out of nine. And eight out of ten. Dude, that was close. Again? Again. What I want to know is, does anybody remember that video when I was with my parents in Arizona and my mom was like, yeah, Turin really gets his athletic ability from his dad. <laughs> well, apparently I'm not that bad, but he definitely beat me both times with a broken arm. Okay, everybody else is in bed. Turin's still got a project that he's got to work on for tomorrow. It's due tomorrow, but a lot of you guys have been asking how Terrence arm is doing, so I thought we'd just give a little update. How's it doing? Pretty good. It doesn't really hurt at all anymore. Do you able to use it, or is it just awkward with the brace on? I, I mean, it's like in typing class. I get excused from typing because I like the braces in the way of me typing, but without, if sometimes I just take off my brace and I can type totally fine. Did you just say you take off your brace? No. When do you take off your brace? Only in keyboarding class. Just like for one thing. I do it and I can type totally fine. Let's maybe not do that. Remember when the doctor said not to take it off unless you're showering or washing your hands? Yeah, but um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, so what are you doing at recess? You afraid to answer no? You afraid you're gonna be in trouble again? Maybe. <laughs> so I've done some one hand basketball. Not two hand? Mm -mm. <laughs> Tell the I've truth. Done some one hand football. Not two hands? Maybe a little bit? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> no, I've actually mainly played football one hand. Do you miss soccer? Yes, very much so. Is it kind of weird not playing? Yeah, I have like nothing to do after school. It's like fun, but then it's like not fun. How many more days? Let's see. Three days. Two, technically. Well, two by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Three days from now. Whatever. <laughs> we go to the doctor and she decides if he gets to take his brace off. And technically he has two soccer games on Saturday. Two? So it could be his very first day back to soccer without a broken arm. Yep. Brace off. You ready for this? Yes. And she kind of decides whether he has a broken arm on Christmas morning or not. I mean, what if you get something that you need your arm for? What if she says you have to keep it on? I'd be so mad. Are you so over it? The brace has been pretty... Yeah. ...invasive, though. I mean, the eyes don't even, like, have it. Are you still over it? You ready to be done? Mm hmm I mean, like, I can't feel anything. Like, I, I've pushed on it and I don't feel it at all. Still wearing it. And that's the update. So... You guys have to come back in three days to see if this brace is coming off so we can finally shower. Yes. <laughs> I'm 100% teasing him. He totally showers. It's just funny to tease when you're a mom. If you haven't already, like this video, subscribe down below, turn on your notification bell. We so appreciate you guys watching our channel. Thank you so much for all your support and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. I'm headed to pick up turn from school. We are headed to the doctor today, the sports medicine doctor, to find out if he gets to take his brace off, if his arm is fully healed, or if he's got to wear it for a few weeks longer. I'm a little bit nervous because I know he's kind of counting on it. You know, the doctor kind of gave us the idea that he probably would be totally fine, it would heal just great, and that this should be a quick, easy recovery, and I just don't want him to be disappointed and sad and find out that he has to keep his brace on through Christmas, or that he can't play soccer longer, or that, you know, it's gonna affect his basketball season because I know he's just so anxious to get it off. So I'm just feeling a little nervous as his mom. I'm hoping that when we get there, everything looks good and that he can be done and be all healed up. I do feel really fortunate overall that this was such an easy break. Buckle fracture heals really well. So I'm gonna head there and uh, we'll find that out. Later today, we actually are doing a little mini photo shoot with Justin's sister, Michelle. You can find her at Dan and Shell on Instagram or Dan and Shell. They also have a YouTube channel and she She's the cutest, she is the most amazing photographer and they have been traveling and they're leaving town again. So we caught her just really fast while they were in town and said, hey, would you wanna do a little mini tree lot shoot? And she said, yes. So we're gonna go do that tonight. I didn't put a ton, ton, ton of effort into like picking out outfits or anything else because it's that time of year and we just kinda had to make do with what we have. It's all gonna turn out super cute. I just am really excited. I love to do pictures. It's one of my favorite things. My boys don't love it, Ava loves it, but it's so worth the memories. I'm really excited for that. I'm hoping that we're not gonna freeze and uh, we'll take you along there as well. Today is the day I picked up Turbo from school. We are here to find out if he can get his brace off and be done with his broken arm and enjoy his Christmas. Christmas break with no brace on. Miss Ava is dressed for the occasion. 
we just barely got to the doctor. I checked him out of school. We just barely got to the doctor's office because he is going to find out today if his arm is healed enough and he gets to take off his brace and return to his normal activities. He gets to play soccer again, gets to play basketball again. So we're crossing our fingers. He says that he has no pain anymore. He says that... Well, have any pain? Yeah, he says he's been feeling good. In fact, he's been wanting to take his brace off. It's driving him crazy because it isn't hurting him at all anymore. And so he's just like, get this thing off of me. Yeah. <laughs> he also says that it's starting to smell bad. So he's just ready to be done. So glad. And I just feel like it's been so short. Like it's been the quickest recovery ever, don't you think? Yeah. So we're gonna go in and talk to the doctor and see what she says. This might be the last time you see him like this. You ready to get that brace off? Yeah. Okay, she said you can take it off because she's gonna come in and see how your arm's feeling. How's it feel? Does it feel kind of feel? Feels super weird. <laughs> All right, it's all healed. He's ready to go. Feeling like a new man. Okay, I've got Turin. I'm dropping him back off at school. He's got a few hours left in school. He is feeling on top of the world. He's got soccer practice tonight that he gets to finally go back to. And he actually has two games on Saturday that he can play in now. The lady at the doctor's office was so sweet and helpful. So she just moved back from Pennsylvania. She still does, but she works with the Pittsburgh Steelers football team. So she like, I guess she's like an athletic trainer. So she like yes. helps the Steelers. She said she helped all the Pittsburgh teams. So she showed Turin with him going back into sports. She said that, you know, his wrist is healed, but that it's still gonna feel kind of weak and needs a little bit of extra support, but that that brace he wears doesn't give him any flexibility. She showed him this tape. She says that it will give him some support, but still give him flexibility. So when he goes to shoot a basketball, he can still bend his wrist. She showed him on his right arm, so he'll yeah. have to do this on his left arm. But she said the brace, when, she, when he wears the brace, it's supportive, but it's too stiff. And so she said it's kind of a good transition to go from the brace to wearing nothing. So we'll probably wrap his left wrist the break was kind of on the lower part of his arm. So she said he can wear it for soccer and then of course wear it for basketball as well. So we're gonna get some more of that at the store. Now you can play at sports at recess. Now you can so type excited. in keyboarding. You got excused from a lot of what? Keyboarding, like lessons. Did you get excused from anything else? Not really, the main thing I just got was keyboarding because it's hard to type. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'll see you after school. Love okay, you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, love you. Okay, we're back from the appointment. We drove Turin back to school. Ava and I are gonna get ourselves ready, then we'll go pick up the boys, get them ready. We've got all of our clothes picked out. We've got a bunch of different plaids and winter clothes all laid out. Winter looking shoes. I think it's gonna turn out really cute. You guys, we found the cutest photographer. We just thought that right now. In the world. <laughs> I was just in the woods. She just happens to be related to Justin and me and everybody here and we love her. She's the best of the best, and we're so excited. Oh, we're just gonna get some cute little Christmas pictures. turn this off. Lana, so tell us what you, how you feel about, uh, you know, family pictures. No. <laughs> Enough like said. I do not like them. Ava, what do you think of family pictures? Kind of <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like
Guys, I swear we do family pictures like three times a year, and I always complain each time we do it. But I gotta admit, every time we do it, at the end when I see the result, it was all worth it. So yes, here we are again. I swear this is the third time that you have done it, right? But it's their memories, so I shouldn't complain that much. And Michelle does a phenomenal job. <laughs> She's you now dancing in front of me like a gorilla. <laughs> Your, uh, your quick thoughts on family pictures? Not this. Oh, come no, on! Hello, They're I so take that personal. <laughs> Michelle makes it easy. Yeah, Michelle <laughs> makes it more fun. Oh, stop <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, punk. the kids that if they were good we would walk across the parking lot and get to them the a gas station everybody <laughs> we go <laughs> the question is Michelle have you been good is Santa bringing you something nice well, um, according to <laughs> Daniel and Louie I've been good but Louie's been very naughty I saw that he is chewed that up he, that ornament he beheaded a hill <laughs> Ooh, your Christmas night might not be coming this year. Oh, she does, huh? Michelle from Dan and Shell for amazing pictures. We love her. She's the bestest ever. True story. She was just halfway across the world a week ago, and she's leaving in how many days? Uh, on Tuesday. She's leaving on Tuesday, and she still squeezed us in. She deserves a medal. All right, you guys, today is Turin's very first game back after having broken his arm. It's been how many weeks, Tur? Four weeks, four weeks. So you guys, typical Saturday now that he is back, his cast is off, he is ready to go, he is conditioned, and he is hungry. I'm pulling a Brandon right now. You really yeah, are. I'm pulling definitely a Brandon right now. And he is hungry for competition. So we actually have two games today, lucky us. Back to back. Back to back games. We've got Papa and Grandma, Adam's in from Arizona, which we are super stoked to see them tonight. So we're gonna kick off this day with two intense indoor soccer games, and then off to do a little holiday shopping and hang out with some family. And we are live with Turin being <laughs> Are you excited? Turbo. Dude, two games. I'm super excited to have my first game back. I'm a little worried I will all, I'll have to catch on to it, but I'm really excited. Today we're playing a team called Apex and then USA. Hey, but you got one go. Let's see game face. <laughs> Lano, game face. <laughs> Turbo, game face. Oh, <laughs> Lindsay, game face. Oh, Rico Suave, cool. I have another one. Oh, you got another one? <laughs> Kerbo, I love you, buddy.
you said he wanted to hang out every day. We found you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hey guys, it's crazy my interview. Uh, you know, super Saturday and all. Hey man. So Justin and I came to Walmart to get a couple of last minute Christmas things done. We just ran into Uncle B. Well, we were talking about you on the car ride over here. Just, oh really? Yeah, we were just really oh, annoyed with you and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah so no, it's really no, awkward when he ran into you. No, we were just mentioning how I really just really enjoyed having an older brother um, yeah, for the last yeah, I'm doing it 30 story. days. So anyways, nothing going on over there. I love you. <laughs> so we are here at Walmart together on a little mini date getting some food for tomorrow we're having my family over to do some cookie decorating it's a tradition of ours in the Adams family that we bake a ton of cookies together so I'm super excited about that grabbing some ingredients we are also buying one last large item for one of our kiddos okay we are also shopping for two little kitty cats at our house we got Annabelle a bunch of stuff at Target the hard thing about the cats is that lately when I bought them toys they don't play with them and I think it's because they're older so we're trying to find something they'll be excited about we <laughs> figure if they won't play with it, Annabelle will, or Justin will. Yeah, I could be seeing myself playing with that. <laughs> Does this look like holiday groceries or what? By the time this video actually comes out, it's coming out on Christmas Day. So we're just going to go ahead and give you a sneak peek of what we're getting Ashton for Christmas. He has been begging to have a bigger bike. A bigger bike than honestly would fit him. So, well, that's what he's getting. And his gift that he asked from Santa. So this is his parent gift. Now the gift that we're expecting Santa to bring is going to be a pro scooter. So fingers crossed, Santa still has that on his list. Speaking of, Merry Christmas everybody. Hey Santa's helper. We bought the whole store. <laughs> we are actually hosting my family a couple of days this week, which is so fun. We love to be hostesses. We're the hostesses of the mostesses. We'll see. Oi, Papa. Good to see you. How are you? McKay Garrett in the house, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see you. You should not break fast today. <laughs> I love you. I'm so happy to see you. She bought a birthday present for Penny. She did? It's just a little bit late, but she said, oh. can I hold it because I'm her best friend. My glasses are about to I squished you too hard, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Hugs all around. Tomorrow we're making cookies. Yes, tomorrow. As you can see, Papa and Grandma have arrived from Arizona and they just got here to the frozen tundra and are freezing their butts off because it is so cold outside. It is not that cold out here. Maybe it's because I'm not wearing a coat. You guys, by the time you see this, you're having a very Merry Christmas. So we are gonna give you a little bit of insight into what parents do to prepare for Christmas. We're gonna wrap some Christmas gifts and go place them underneath the tree. But most importantly, we're gonna watch a Hallmark movie while we wrap. M most definitely the most important. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas, guys. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day surrounded by all those that you love. I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas morning <laughs> with lots of Christmas magic and that you are feeling the spirit of Christmas today. Alright guys, so Lindsay just out of the pure kindness of her heart just said, Hey, you know, honey, you don't you don't have to rap. I said, Oh no, I want to. She's like, Well no, it's okay, you don't have to. And I said, Well, it's because you don't want me to, isn't it? Because I don't do a very good job. And she just busts up laughing. So I will not be participating in tonight's rapping festivities because apparently I don't rap very well. You can rap. Oh, can I? You're actually a pretty good rapper. Am I? Kind of. Like like a like a like a Tupac rapper or like a present rapper. Kind of rapper you want to be. Apparently, I can't rap presents.
a little bit of an unexpected surprise tonight. We went out to dinner with my parents and my sister and her husband and her big, cute little baby and we got pizza. We had a great time and cute little turn did not have a great time at all. He must have been coming down sick like last night or this morning but he never said anything. And then he went and played back-to-back -back soccer games and after the game he was telling me how he was really tired and I kept thinking, well that's funny. I mean I guess you haven't ran for the last three or four weeks. But come to find out, he was coming down sick and I think those soccer games just wiped him out. So by dinner time tonight, he could barely sit up, he could barely talk, he could barely keep his eyes open. It would like hit him hard. Like a train, yeah, so he is sound asleep. Could be strep though, we don't know. Good news is, it's not our Christmas, even though you guys are seeing this on Christmas, so Merry Christmas, but we're hoping to get him better before actual Christmas day. We have three more nights to actually wrap presents. We did not get through all of them tonight. I we wrapped got, 11. Wrapped 11. I did not wrap any because I was very kindly told that I'm not very good at it. <laughs> oh my heavens, the funny thing is he is really good at it. But he has to be in the mood to wrap presents and tonight he wasn't in the mood. So I knew that it was gonna become efficient, Justin. That's not true, I was totally in the mood. But yeah, efficient Justin is. He wanted to put everything in a gift bag. There's nothing wrong with that, but I actually love wrapping. I think the pretty little presents <laughs> under the tree make me happy. The good news is we have three more nights. Now we have a handful of gifts that need to actually be put together. So, but guys, we've got a plenty of gifts that I actually need to construct and put together on Christmas Eve, which honestly, I actually really enjoy. Unless it's a huge kitchen set we gave Ava two years ago that took like four hours yeah. to build. He was up till I think like three or four in the morning. If you guys have not seen that Matt Damon SNL skit of him, of what it's like to be a parent on Christmas Eve, you have to go see it. It's actually pretty fun. <laughs> hey guys, listen, we hope you had a very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you guys so much for all of your support over the past few months. We only started this daily vlogging very, very end of August when Lindsay and I were on a trip in Miami. So. It's only been a few months. It's been incredible to see all of the support, all of the comments, all the kind cards that we received. In effect, we received a handful of Christmas cards. If we don't get a chance to thank you individually, we're gonna thank you all now. Thank you guys for sending beautiful Christmas cards, beautiful letters. Some of them with handwritten notes. I want you to know a lot of you are so sweet and when you make a comment or you write a note, you tell me how our vlogs make you cry. Well, when I'm reading your comments, I usually start crying back. So we're all just crying. <laughs> But really, you guys made 2019 an incredible year for us, and we are just so grateful for all of you and for this opportunity that we've had to share our life and the blessing that that has been for us. All right, guys. Well, once again, Merry Christmas. Spend time with your loved ones. Uh, make today a special day. And if for some reason you are having a uniquely difficult Christmas, I hope that you're able to find some sort of joy today in something small and uh, know that you're not alone and that we're thinking of you. Come back tomorrow because cute little Lando for our Christmas Sunday program. He's singing a song with two other people. He's singing his own part, and the other two people are singing harmony. It's the first time he's ever done anything like that. It's a really long song. He's worked really hard on it, and we're really excited. So we'll show you a little tidbit of that tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right, happy Sunday, everybody. Even though church is technically canceled, right, in terms of the meeting house, we still make an effort to dress up, okay? and have our church meetings here at the house. So we are up, we are ready, the kids are dressed. Turn's like half up right now. Hair's done. Well, Turn's hair is half done right now. <laughs> He's getting oh. right at me. Yo, look at that wave. Mama's up, she's made a delicious breakfast. We're gonna congregate here in the family room. We're gonna have a nice little spiritual discussion. And then honestly, we don't know what the day is gonna bring today, do we? Ash, what do you, uh, what do you think we should do today? Uh, go on a bike ride. Go on a bike ride? Okay, all right, maybe we can make that dream come true. Lana, what do you wanna do in quarantine? Go up the canyon. Go up the canyon, all right. Ter, what do you wanna do in quarantine? Bike ride. Bike ride? <laughs> Ava, what do you wanna do in quarantine? Nothing. Nothing? Oh, okay, well, hang on. Let's see if we make Ava's dream come true. Ready and let's go. Ava, your dream came true. We're doing nothing. <laughs> Goodness. So the options are bike ride or up the canyon. Lindsay, what do you want to do? Bike ride number three. However, I think we've got a couple flat tires we might have to work through. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, that scared me. The vacuum just attacked my foot. We went to the golf course yesterday. Did you guys know, by the way, that 
Lynn and I went to the golf course and we got kicked off the golf course. Yeah. We were with Annabelle throwing the ball and the guy comes up with a golf course and says, uh, you guys can't be here. So we chatted with him for a few minutes and then we left. All right, well, those are our options. We'll see if we can come up with anything a little bit later today. So when we go to church, like we usually do in a meeting house, when we come home, we love to get in our comfy. So I would never expect our kids to be in their nice clothes all day, but it does kind of just make Sundays a little bit different by getting dressed, by holding a church meeting at home. But we are now getting changed into comfy clothes. We're gonna go get outside, enjoy the beautiful day. We're gonna do a little family bike ride. So I asked all the kids to get changed into their comfy clothes, but in true Ava style, she loves dresses through and through, so she's got her pants on and she's got her sweatshirt on with her dress. And I have to say, it's a darling outfit and you're warm, so it's a win-win. Yeah, so I don't want to be changed my dress. You love wearing dresses. We're gonna go on a bike ride in your pretty dress. Yep, I feel fine with my dress. You feel just fine like that? Yeah. I think it's where you feel most comfortable, is in a dress. Is it because you're a real life princess? No. <laughs> I think you are. Nope. What's your secret princess name? Mm, Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea? <laughs> princess Chelsea, will you please bow for us? Oh, there it is! <laughs> You ready to go? Yeah. Let's go on a bike ride. All right guys, we are all done with our Sunday festivities. So we're gonna go head up Provo Canyon because the sun is shining and it's actually supposed to snow the rest of this week. So Monday and Tuesday is supposed to rain. Then it's supposed to snow Wednesday and Thursday. Then Friday is supposed to be a little bit cloudy. Saturday, is the sun's coming out just a little bit. So we're gonna take advantage of this weather and we are going to gear up. Everyone's got a bike. This is actually pretty unique because this is the first time we've actually been able to have everyone on a bike because in years past, Ava's been so little. She hasn't ridden a bike. She's usually gone in, in the bike trailer. Landon the same, but now, as you guys saw in our Christmas video, he got a brand new recumbent bike, which is super cool. So he's gonna ride that. We're gonna head over to Provo and do the Provo Trail, and it's gonna be amazing. We've got Annabelle, we've got Justin, we've got Turin, we've got Ashton, we've got mom's bike, dad's bike, we've got Ava in the bike trailer with all the snacks yep. and some Barbies. We've got Lando. All right, we brought our bikes to beautiful Provo Canyon. We love their bike trail. It's long, it passes by waterfalls and rivers. It's in the middle of a beautiful canyon, so we're surrounded by incredible mountains, snow capped mountains. But the problem is, is that we were not the only people that thought of this. Everybody else is in our same boat. They can't really go anywhere except go outside and try to get some fresh air, recreating with their families. So everybody is here doing that. Thankfully, we're all kind of able to keep our distance a little bit, but it's a lot busier than it usually is. So if I get tired, do you think there's room for me to sit next to you? No. Yeah. It's not, it's a two-seater. I'm a mommy, does that make me too big? Dang, it looks so comfy and cozy, and I really love snacks. Yeah, she honestly is lucky. I wish I was that. <laughs> Best seat in the house right here, for sure. <laughs> Dad is just breaking out all the camera gear today. All the toys. We've got a camera on Ashton's helmet so far. There's one in my hand. You're setting one up on Annabelle. What other kind of tricks do you have up your sleeve here? What did you say, Turin? Bike sick. Turin's taking Landon's bike for a spin and loving it. I honestly do look really fun, like you can kind of slide out to the sides. Now Ashton wants to take it for a spin. All 
All right, we've got a GoPro on the back of Dad's bike. Facing... Miss Ava. Turbo. Ava, you doing good back there, girl? Yep. You love it? Uh -huh. Guys, Provo Canyon this time of year is incredible. We've got the camera on Annabelle. Let's get over to the Annabelle camera here for a minute, can we? Annabelle, just a true dog right now. Got some bumps back there, Miss Ava. Ava, you having fun? Yes! Coming up on the group. Hello, kiddos. What up, mama? Ooh, look at that snow. Right there, look at that. All right, you guys, we're sitting here biking, and we stop just up here, and we hear this rumbling coming down the mountain. We hear somebody yell, rock. Because all of this is melting snow, rocks often will slide down. Guys, this thing right here <laughs> just barreled down the mountain. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. That's a good girl. Ready? Ready? Go get him. Go get him. Hurry. Good girl. You're a pretty dog. Yeah. Look at these two. Same age, huh? Yours is a boy? Yeah. Go get him. Let's go. There's a little bit of a story right here actually. So this is kind of a classic bike path for the old Bingham family here. This is something that we have done many, many times. This spot is very notorious because, why Turin? Because we like found a water Annabelle. snake. So Turin was over here swimming just like Annabelle is, right? Right right on the shore with my feet in. Just kind of hanging out. And I think I had jokingly said, hey, look at a snake. Just totally joking. This was probably more so in the summertime. And then no more than two minutes later, literally a water snake starts slithering through the water right next to Mr. Turin here. What'd you do? I screamed. He got the heck out of the water. That's what he did. I, how, I was like five. <laughs> Land, oh, <laughs> you're all in. Show us how fast this thing goes. On your mark, get set, go. This is my daddy. And that's my mom. Daddy's driving me in the trailer. All right, guys, so we are at the infamous Bridal Veil Falls over here in Provo Canyon. Ava, this Ava! It's gorgeous. Bro, bro, bro. Oh, shoot. Come here. Oh, come here, Annabelle. Ava, come here, girl. We got ourselves a fallen rock over here. Come here. Get over here. I can do it. Ah. I can do it. Like I know, but look, those rocks over there were falling. Look, here they come. Annabelle, come here. Here it comes. Come on, get out of the way. Look, look at this. That's dangerous. Okay. Man, it's dangerous. I don't think they're meaning to, but they're knocking rocks off. Anyway, so we're at infamous Bridalville Falls. This place is notorious, obviously, for its beautiful waterfalls, but also during the wintertime, you can ice climb over here, which I have never done. It is definitely an item 
uh, that I would like to do in the winter time. Have not yet gotten the go ahead from Lindsay, but I'm working on that. We have made it back to the car, all in one piece. We actually biked up here with, let's see, we've got Ashton, we've got Turin, we've got Ava and myself and Annabelle. Sweet Lindsay and Landon wanted to stay by the waterfalls a little bit longer, so we told them that we would bike up here and meet them down there. So we're gonna pack up these bikes and head back home. Oh my goodness, girl, you worked hard, didn't you? Yes, you did. You worked hard. All right guys, we found a major flaw in Apple's operating system. My phone is thinking its turn is me. Watch it unlock itself. Go. You little <laughs> cheater, man. It doesn't matter if you change your password I have a now. baby face. Is that what you're saying, Apple? It doesn't matter if you change your password now. I can't what the heck? Oh my gosh, every time it works. It's not even like once or twice. Okay, hang on. Let me get out of the view here real quick. Well, you're going to go. Oh my goodness. Okay, go. Are you, you're cheating. What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. No so it unlocks mom's phone and my phone with your face. It's <laughs> because he added his facial recognition to our phone. No. You little cheater. No, yes, I didn't. you did. No, I didn't. I swear. You... Okay, go to facial recognition. On mom's? Yes. I might have on mom's. I'm certain I didn't on dad's. No, there's nothing. I did nothing. Did you on mine? No. Are you being serious? No, I'm serious. I... Guys, Apple cannot tell the difference between that's... me and Turin and Lindsay and Turin. Dude, that's because you're a perfect mix of both of us. Ava, I think the question everyone is wondering right now is, why are you not in bed? Uh, because I'm four. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, guys, well, we actually got to talk to my parents today, which was pretty cool. I mean, we talked to them often, but we got to FaceTime them, and they are here in Utah. So, again, they are self-quarantining for the next two weeks at Michelle and Daniels, but it was really honestly surreal to just be able to talk to them and knowing that they're honestly only 15 minutes away. So, that was kind of fun. They're in good spirits. They're definitely tired. It took them three days to actually get from Kiev back to Utah for just a handful of reasons, so. And they're happy to be home. They just wanted to be able to finish their mission as long as they had planned to. So I think they're kind of trying to figure out what's next. Yeah, totally. I mean, it, honestly, they were not anticipating being home for another 12 months, so I think they really need to rethink what their plans are in general. Of course, we're all kind of waiting to see what happens over the next two weeks. I mean, there hasn't been a lot of talk here in Utah about any type of changes or policies. I know California has gone into a self-quarantine. I should say a mandatory quarantine. I've gotten word but, that our school is going to be at home until spring break, so it's even longer than they originally said. So that's another it's one more week. One more week, two And then weeks. they'll evaluate and we'll see from there. Because I think if things have gotten worse, there's no way we'll be going back to school. I know. Who knows? But it was really fun to get out today. It seems like most of Utah probably had a pretty similar train of thought because there was a lot of people out on that trail today. But it was great to get out. So we are headed into another week of homeschooling. Last and week. Landon's last Oh, sorry. Last, last week of Now I Can. And Lan it's Landon's last week of Now I Can. So on Friday, we'll all go there and celebrate another graduation in the books. And then uh, life will finally get a little bit simpler over here. In fact, it kind of makes me laugh because... All I hear from everybody is how they're just at home and how they're going crazy and they're bored to death and I just think it just doesn't quite feel that way for us yet. <laughs> it, feels, it feels quieter for sure, but because of his therapy, it just isn't, we're not going crazy too much yet. I mean, not yet. we're not at home as much as everybody else is what I should say. So we're kind of looking forward to that a little bit. It'll be fun. I We don't know what we're going to do with our time, but we might just stay here. It might be fun to maybe go to, you know, down to Southern Utah and maybe spend some time down there and... Just in isolation. Pack up our own groceries and yeah. stay by ourselves. But if you have any ideas of what we can do to keep ourselves busy, comment down below. We'd love to hear them. Thanks to all of you who follow us on Instagram and for all of you who watch our videos. We appreciate you guys so much. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Last week and now I can. Here we come. See you guys. Good night. Good night.
Hello and good morning from the Bingham family. Today is a really, really big day for Utah. The entire state is reopening today. Woo, woo. Things like restaurants are reopening while following social distancing rules and a well, lot of- what that means though. That basically means you can go in to a restaurant and all the tables are six feet apart. That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they are allowing people to gather in small groups. 20 or less. 20 or less and this is just part of hopefully the continuation of reopening more and more things for Utah. So we're crossing our fingers that the virus doesn't spike again and that this is gonna be a good thing. We have a really exciting day today. We are doing something to our house that I have wanted to do since we moved in almost five years ago. I can't believe it's happening. It's one of those things that we just kinda finally decided to do and I'm just so excited. We are painting our basement. You hear that, people? We're painting the basement. The color we chose is Chantilly Lace. It's Chantilly Lace, so very proper. Back when we had our house fire, if you haven't seen that video, link above, we remodeled our bedroom and our bathroom because of all the fire and smoke damage. So our purple walls that we, that was actually the only other room we wanted to have painted and Sorry. it went from purple walls to white walls. Yes, you heard her right, she said purple walls. We didn't paint them purple. And I just didn't love purple for a master bedroom. I wanted it to be more of a neutral color. So I got my wish with the whole house fire thing of remodeling my room and my bathroom to a more modern look. So I painted it a white color, loved how it turned out, and I really wanted something down here that was brighter. It's a basement, obviously doesn't get as much natural light. We had definitely have windows down here, but it doesn't get as much natural light as upstairs rooms. So I wanted something that would brighten it up. The color down here is more of like a dark tan brownish color, and I think that painting the, the walls white is going to brighten things up so much down here and make it look a lot more modern. I am so excited. I have truly wanted to do this for almost five years. So this actually is going to be a three day process, but we are going to keep you guys updated on everything that's going down each day. We're gonna show you a good before so you can see what everything looks like before it's painted and then come Monday when it's finished, we are going to show you the after. So all this talk about painting has, <laughs> gotten Eva really excited about the thought of painting her room. My four colors are dark and blue. Light blue and dark blue? Yeah, and pink and purple. Those are her favorite colors. We're definitely gonna have to, to, to do some looking because we could do wallpaper, we could do paint. What if we do like red? Yeah. No, it's not on the list, sorry. It's not one of her yeah. four colors. Not one of her four colors. So, as you know, we're gonna be redoing Ava's room very soon here, so stay tuned to see what her paint walls are gonna look like. All right, everybody, here's a quick little before. We are moving everything to the center of the room so we can begin the painting process. Walk down this hallway. The bathroom. The toy room, which Ava has destroyed. No, Penny for sure. Oh, Penny for sure. And the workout room. We are here at the pediatrician for a totally unexpected visit today. As you know, we've been playing like crazy on the bounce house the last mm -hmm. couple of days. And well, Ashy and pretty much the whole family, except for me, were jumping in the jumping part of the bounce house. Ashton and dad collided pinky toe mm -hmm. yeah. on his left mm -hmm. foot. And he was kind of hopping for a while saying, oh, that hurt. But then he just kept playing. And so we thought, oh, well, he probably just stubbed his toe. No big deal. Well, he woke up and it's super swollen mm -hmm. and super bruised not just on the pinky toe, but like in a big circle spot on his foot. So we are here to find out if he needs to get an x-ray and if he possibly broke his foot. That would be sad if I broke my foot, but it would be kind of fun because if I did, 
it would be my first broken phone and I would have a boot and that would be cool. <laughs> this is true, Ashi is nine years old and he's never broken anything before, which is kind of amazing. So we are hoping it's not broken, but on the bright side, Ashi's a little bit excited about it. Mm -hmm. you look closely, he hurt this pinky toe, but there's like a circular bruise on this entire portion of his foot. So I'm a little concerned that he's broken his foot. Hey guys, we're home from the doctor. So they said if it was just his toe, they wouldn't have been super worried, but they said that because his foot, here, show me your foot. So the doctor said that because he's feeling pain up here, he wants him to go get an x-ray. He said if it was the pinky toe, he probably wouldn't do much for a toe, but they said if both bones here are both broken, that they'll want him to be followed by an orthopedic surgeon because they want to make sure it heals right. But they it basically, it was kind of in the middle. It was like, it was not the best case scenario, but it also wasn't the worst case scenario. If it was broken back here, then he said it would probably require surgery. So I think it's not going to be like the worst break if it even if it is broken, which is good news. He said, if it's broken, he's going to be four weeks in a boot, which he would basically be off by summertime. Yeah, it's kind of like when you broke your big toe. In fact, no joke, I think. I broke his big toe. <gasps> Did you break your big toe? I did, remember? Daddy never went to the doctor. He's never went to the doctor. But, but you know what's so funny about example. this? We've been getting rid of stuff like crazy, like trying to declutter our house, and I think we just barely, 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 barely got rid of the boot that you wore when you broke your toe in soccer. I just heard Turin say, nice. Now was it about boys, maybe girls too, about like, it's cool like if you get hurt. Oh, they, that's exactly what Ashley said. He goes, it'd be kind of sad if I broke my foot, but it'd be super cool because I've never had an injury before and I could wear a boot. Why don't you go chest bump turbo? <laughs> this is, oh, chest bump. Boom. This is his first injury. This is his first injury. Well, we'll see. It might be nothing. I, I think it's, I, I have a feeling it's broken. You do? That's Let my me, guess. And not to be his last hope because if you're not breaking bones, you're not having fun. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what makes this whole situation Sad, because it was my foot that he tripped on. It's all your fault. It's all my fault. Isn't that right, bud? <laughs> your foot collided with my foot. And you're a little bit bigger. And I'm a little bit bigger. It's all your fault. It's all Can my fault. Can you believe fault. you broke his foot? You broke Michelle's something, too. I broke Michelle's arm. Oh my gosh, everything Now here I am breaking my son's foot. <laughs> I'm not fit to be a father or a brother. <laughs> What do you think? Are we, are we placing bets here? Are we saying broken or not broken? What do you think? Sprained or broken. Well, it's for sure sprained, right? Yeah. The question is, is it sprained enough to be broken? Mom, what's your bet? Mom thinks it's broken. You? No. I think it's broken too. Because it's swollen and it's, and it's discolored. What does that mean? Yeah, it's changing colors. Like it's black and blue a little bit. And the, and the oh, you're up. Let's go. Voting broken, but here we go. In our backyard, so. Mister, the bounce house. What is this? Oh. And my dad collided with me or something, and they were like, "What was that doing in the bounce house?" I shouldn't have been in the bounce house, huh, Ashy? Yeah. Hey. There you go. All right, well that was quick and easy, wasn't it, Mr. Ashton? Mm -hmm. So the results- I got locked out. She got locked out. They only allowed one parent in. I was the parent, self-selected. Ashton did not choose me. <laughs> and uh, well, we don't know, but we're gonna find out here in a couple hours. Fingers crossed that it is not broken. We are just following up on Ashton's foot next to me and it was totally normal, no fracture. No way. So, yeah. it's, so it must just be bruised? 
Yeah, just soft tissue. So ibuprofen, I, if it's still bothering him in a week, just let us know. Okay, so should he stay off of it? He can wrap it for a couple of days with an ACE wrap and see if that gives him a little more support. But yeah, just to his comfort level. And then if it's still bothering him in a week, call us and let us know. Sometimes we have to re-x-ray it a week after the injury. Thank you so much for letting us know. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, Ashy. Mm. the nurse just barely called me from the doctor's office with the results of your x-ray. What was it? Drum you roll. Don't, you don't need surgery because your foot is not broken. It's not broken? It's not broken. Okay. Wow. That not really broken. Awesome. Are you surprised? Yeah. Right, that it was broken. This is good news, though, because now you don't have to wear a boot and you can still ride bikes, and you can play around, we can go surfing still. Wait, what was it? What was it then? Just nothing, just bruise. just, just bruise, it's sprains. definitely hurt, so she said, just kind of let pain be your guide, and then you can just back normal. Oh, yeah. So no broken foot. She said, if it's still bothering you in a week, you should let them know, and then they'll re-x-ray it. But they're pretty sure it's not broken. So are you happy, or are you sad? Sad and more happy than sad. Why would you be sad? Because I wanted to boot. You wanted to boo. You wanted to be like his brother. I wanted to boo. But you're happy because now you can totally, you know, can I say having a boot would have totally been kind of a bummer because you couldn't do much. Yeah, except for play video games really and watch shows and walk around. <laughs> <laughs> Summertime is not a time you want to have a broken foot, so I am so glad like, grateful. Mm-hmm. Okay, not broken. High fives. Oh my goodness, you guys, today has been such a roller coaster of, of events. I am in complete shock over here because I really thought his foot was broken. It really seemed like it with the way the doctor was pushing on his foot and how much pain Ashton was in when he was pushing on it. I just really thought it was broken. It was like there was no doubt in my mind. In fact, I was making all these plans with the doctor about how it would be after hours, but the nurse would have to, you know, we'd have to go in after hours tomorrow to get his boot because I was just so sure it was broken. And it's not. It's not. Well, good thing we didn't call the whambulance. Whambulance. But the truth is, <laughs> the truth is, is that bruises and sprains can hurt so badly. So it, it makes sense that he's in so much pain. And I'm honestly just so grateful it's not broken because that would really put a damper on this amazing weather that we're having. Hey, thank you guys for watching today. You guys are amazing. We love you all. And if you have not, be sure to thumbs up this video for sweet little Ashton here who did not break his foot. Subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. Hello and good morning, everybody. We came to a therapy. That is right. Guys, welcome back to today's vlog. If you are new to this channel, welcome to Our Life in Holland. Our Life in Holland is totally geared around this guy right here. So if you're new, subscribe yep. <laughs> down below. We are here at Landon's Now I Can Therapy. For those of you that are new, Landon does intense physical therapy. He's not in a full-on session right now. This is more maintenance. And so we've come down today uh, for him to do a four-hour session with his physical therapist. Uh, and I have the pleasure of joining him and working from here for the next little bit. So we're gonna go in there and get a quick little glimpse of, oh, he's already off. He's gone. He has done 23 sessions that are five days a week for three weeks, four hours a day. So this kid is tough as nails to be able to, to continue to do this. Uh, and it's very intense physical therapy. So. Anyway, we'll go in there and see what uh, this maintenance therapy looks like, uh, but it's just good for him. He gets really tight and things like that, and as he grows, his muscles get constricted a little bit more, so this is really necessary. For those of you that are kind of aware of cerebral palsy, there's a lot of spasticity in that, which means, you know, your muscles are almost in constant flex mode, and so as he grows, his muscles almost resist that growth and kind of bring him in, so this type of therapy is really helpful to stretch him out and just make him more kind of comfortable in general, especially as he goes through these growth spurts. So we got an awesome night. Uh, tonight we're gonna head to the Tulip Festival, which is a blast because it's the closest thing we have to Holland here because we don't have windmills, but we do have some tulip fields. We're gonna go check those out tonight as well. Okay, you guys, so we are doing my stretching right now. And he's stretching my gas rock and my planner fashioner and nothing hurts. I'm being tough. I mean, it hurts, but I'm being tough anyways. It, it's gotta hurt. That's the only way it stretched. And I'm feeling pretty good right now. I did not get enough sleep today. I got like four hours. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna stretch and we do this thing where you put one leg up and one leg down. And then we put both legs up and both arms once. I'm actually pretty good at balancing. I'm working, I've worked on it for 
23 sessions now? They're just nice and controlled, slow. Good. Here we go, there it's going. How fast are you going? I'm going six. There's seven. So right now, you guys, we are doing the treadmill, and we filmed you a little bit of me running, going seven miles an hour. Uh, I get a little tired. I take breaks every 10 minutes or so, and I'm having fun here. Good. Good work. This is Landon's favorite spot to hang out. He gets to hang out in his standard. Now guys, Mark can attest to this. When Landon first came, his standard was like this high. And now all of a sudden you come up another few feet and there he is. I'm going to give you a little peek of me riding the bike. Okay guys, here's a little peek of me riding the bike. I'm giving my uh, therapist a little exercise, guys. All right, guys, just picked up Mr. Lando over here who crushed it once again at therapy. Isn't that right, Landito? Yep. Yep. I what? just came here for a little maintenance, not a session, in case you're wondering. And in case you are wondering, which I know you all are wondering. So we just pulled up to uh, the Tulip Festival. It's like where you will see all these tulips and, and you walk around. That's right. So. We are here at the Tulip Festival at Thanksgiving Point is what it's called, and they have uh, just this massive uh, property full of just tulips. It's beautiful, it's amazing. So, uh, you know, we, uh, we've never been to Holland and their tulip field, so this is as close as we get here in Utah to, uh, to Holland and, and tulips. So we're gonna go check this out. I'm supposed to meet Lindsay and the kids as well. They should be pulling up here any minute. All right, we just met up with Dad and Landon to do the Tulip Festival. It's one of my favorite things of the springtime and I was so sad because for the last little while, it's been canceled. You know, everything's been canceled. And in the last couple days when Utah's been opening a lot of things up, this is one of the things that got opened up because the entire thing is outdoors. So it's probably one of the safest things you can be doing right now. And I'm so excited. It seriously makes me so happy. Downside is that poor little Turin hurt his ankle. On the way out the door, we were kind of just you know, hurrying off to the car, and he has rolled his ankle a couple times playing spike ball, playing soccer. He's a very active kid, and he hurt it really bad this time. So I don't know if he's sprained it. It's definitely swollen. So I don't know if we're gonna have to put him in the stroller. Sorry, Ava. Or uh, we're gonna have to carry him on our backs. I don't think it's anything serious, but he's definitely in pain. I don't know how well the camera's gonna do it justice right now, but he's got quite, ooh. Quite the little bump right there. Looks like a second ankle. It's got two ankles there, buddy. Oh, Dad, why don't you just pull your glasses down so you can really see? <laughs> Ava, what color is your favorite tulip? Um, purple. Purple? <gasps> Let's see if we can find a purple one then. Right there. Where? Wow. Ava, I found a purple one. Well, because Turin hurt his ankle, he has requested a golf cart. And luckily, this young lady here has hooked us up with a golf cart. Here to see the Tulip Festival. All right, everybody, on the count of three, we're gonna thank Turin. One, two, three. Thank you, Turin! We are in a golf cart, it's gonna be amazing, I'm gonna roll it. Well, we're getting ahead of ourselves, I won't roll it. On the count of three, we're going to say onward. One, two, three. What just fell? What fell out? I almost fell out, I wasn't holding on. Mom almost fell out. Ash wants to drive. You may steer for a moment. How's that? You are already going into the film. You're already going into the Hang on here, guys. We're here to see the tulips. All right, guys. Chinese fire drill. Everyone out and run around. One, two, three, go. Around the cart. Around the cart. Ava, this way. Around the cart. Chinese fire drill, everybody. Chinese fire drill.
Well, we are in a place called Ashton Gardens at Thanksgiving Point, which we always say is awesome, Ashy. Yeah. These are his gardens. He takes care of them. He's a good gardener. This particular part of it is one of my favorites. It's patterned after a beautiful fountain in Florence that Turin and Justin and I actually visited, and it was the most beautiful park we'd ever been to. It is very beautiful. Anyway, and this is a great. This is so it. gorgeous. She wants to go on, she thinks these look like little mini bathtubs. Are you trying to be like Turin, pretending that your foot hurts? Is it because you really want to ride in the golf course? Are you pretending you have an owie? Let me see your face. How come you're hiding from me? Because I want to pick all these flowers out. I wish we could pick them too, they're so pretty. Do you know that the flowers in our yard are going to start to bloom soon? Hey okay, Ava, make a wish. Ava, my wish is that you will not turn five in a few weeks. That you'll stay four forever. Okay, he says to throw a peanut in. Is it a peanut or a penny? I think it's a peanut. Okay, here's my wish. Yeah! So I wish to be able to grow up and be six, sorry, not 16, but be able not to drive a golf cart. And then <laughs> be able to drive a dirt bike. Ooh. You got the perfect patch on for that. Ava, what'd you wish for? Can I tell him? No. No? no? Then it won't come true. Uh, it's a horse with a, one horn. Can I just say that? Uh, you know I said it. I already <laughs> said it's a unicorn. You ruined it. Let's do it again. Here you go. This time I will not tell anybody. I promise. Okay, go. Was it a unicorn again? Oh, shoot. I ruined it again. Funny. He thinks he's really funny. He keeps trying. Hey, who wants to feed the fish? Yeah. Alright, who's got a dollar? We got a dollar. We got a dollar. We got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. And if you'll all look to the left, we have tulips. Native to tulips. Holland. Holland. It's native to Holland. And on the right, we have trees native to the earth. What? Golf cart return here. We're not ready. Jaren's racing his sister. <laughs> Hopping on one foot. You're getting smoked, Turbo. One thing that we love, the kids especially, about the Tulip Festival is on the weekends they have music playing on that giant hill. So they'll roll down the hill and they'll dance at the bottom. We always get the cotton candy sculptures. They make cotton candy into, you pick your flavor, and then they make it into some sort of a sculpture that you can choose. It's the coolest thing. All right, hang on. We got an option here. We can either go down the stairs on the golf cart. Option one. Option two, we can go on to the paved path with no stairs. Who goes to stairs? Raise your hand. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, you are not. Justin, you are yeah, not. Look at the stairs. Woo-hoo-hoo. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. All right, guys, quick little follow up on Turbo's ankle. Yes, we cruised around on a golf cart the entire time. And yes, it was probably an excuse not to walk, but his ankle is legitimately still swollen. In fact, check this out. A little bit discoloration here, but I think he's doing okay. Man, we got Ashton hurting his foot. We thought it was broken. We got Turn rolling his ankle. What is the world coming to here at the Bingham household? But listen, guys, do us a favor. Thumbs up this video. 
We appreciate you uh, watching today's vlog. If you're new to the channel, welcome to our life in Holland, you guys. Subscribe down below, turn on that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning from the Bingham house. I just barely had one of those sentimental moments because I just got rid of another baby item of ours. I think that we're almost to the end of him. I think we've almost gotten rid of everything baby that we've had. But why is it so sad to know that that phase of your life is done? It feels like it goes so fast from the beginning of having babies. You think I'm gonna be in this phase forever and ever and ever. And then next thing you know, it's all over and you'll never have babies in your house again. So feeling a little sad, a little sentimental over here. Wishing I had my babies back to snuggle. They're all just growing up way too fast. It's another beautiful summer day. It's actually only about 60 degrees, which is really cold for this time of year. But Justin is enjoying the outdoors regardless. He and his entire company are having a pickleball tournament this morning. How fun is that? Justin has actually really grown to love pickleball. I've never played it before. So we're gonna go check out what he's doing over there. All right, you guys, I just got back from playing a hard game of pickleball. So today, Opinion had a company pickleball tournament. Morgan and I, Morgan is one of my business partners, him and I were matched up in a doubles match, made it all the way to the finals, and we won, people. Woo, woo, woo! So we had a great turnout, whole company was there, tons of fun. It's just good getting back and having those human interactions with people. So yes, I walked away with a $50 gift card. Gonna splurge here on this lady. I already stole it and spent it on clothes for on sure. Clothes. Yeah. yeah, shoes, clothes. You I name just it. love how proud you are that you just won the pickleball tournament. Hey, pickleball is the fastest growing sport right now in America, people. I've never played it. Well, you, you know, it has its age requirements, I think. I'm not old enough. <laughs> <laughs> it was a ton of fun, though. All right, guys, we are headed out with our cousins from This is How We Bring on Baby. You saw a couple vlogs ago that I was preparing some fun treats for the boat because we're supposed to be boating today, but 60 degree weather, it's freezing. We're not taking them boating. Many of you commented that we wanna, you guys should take this how we've been boating. You guys, we have we so will. much fun Eventually. boating with the cousins. Yes, so a good alternative is good old fashioned snow cones. So even though we are next door neighbors, we're both super busy families and the summer goes by so fast that we decided that even though it was too cold to go boating, that we might as well just go get snow cones. Let's go get some snow cones. We've got the cute foursome over here, these cute cousins. Eating their snow cones. Is this the cool table? Yeah. <laughs> and what's so funny? They asked me, for, I, I said the kid size, they gave me the short board. They did? Yeah. Well, I'm just wondering what you're gonna do since there's not any girls to flirt with this time. <laughs> we got Turbo and Rag Guy over here. Hi. What's up, guys? Twin or snow cones? Hot sour. With sour spray. We've got the cute little girlies over here. We got bubble gum and rainbow. Yeah. So yummy. Bubble gum, rainbow. Rainbow, <laughs> And this is the coolest table of all. The adults. This is the party table. <laughs> All right, life of a mom with active children. We are back at the doctor's office today. Turin thinks he may have broken his toe. It is swollen, it hurts, and it's not sitting very straight. So the doctor wanted us to come in and have it looked at, possibly get an x-ray. This kind of feels like had a lot of injuries lately. So during soccer tryouts, there was a collision of some sort with cleats involved and Turin thinks his toe might be broken. He's been limping, definitely swollen. All right, the doctor has checked him out and said that it's worth getting an x-ray. He said it's pretty hard to know if it's broken or if it's just bruised until you get an x-ray. And with as active as he is, that it's important to know because if it's broken and he keeps playing on it, it's just gonna postpone the healing process. So we are off to our next stop, which is to get an x-ray at the hospital. So if Turin does indeed break his toe, this will not be his first broken toe. He actually broke his big toe his very first year of soccer. I was in third grade. I don't know if you were in third grade. I promise you I was, because there was another kid in my class who broke his foot and we call ourselves boot brothers. 
Really? Okay, so he's in third grade and he was playing competitive soccer at the time and I still remember the game. It was a super intense game and he and, this, and the kid from the other team both went for the ball at the same time and ended up picking each other's feet, right? He stepped on my foot. I swear you guys collided. Anyway, totally fractured his big toe and I specifically remember Brandon had just barely maybe in the last six months or a year before that had had his big surgery. So Turin got a boot from his broken toe and then Brandon, Brandon came over put his boot back not, on. He, he wasn't even wearing house. it anymore. He walked over to our house and, and he, he came to the door and like gave me a box of candy and we took a picture with both of our boots. We called each other boot bros. It was really cute that he did that. He wasn't wearing it anymore. He just put it back on just to cheer Turin up because he was so bummed he broke his toe. Cross your fingers for us. As you know, Turin broke his arm earlier this year. So you can't have any more injuries. Cross your fingers for us. <laughs> so he just came out of the imaging services waiting area. <laughs> and he just got locked in here. Thank you so much. Someone came and rescued us. We got locked between the waiting room and the main lobby. <laughs> But eventually someone came and found us. Then we realized we were in some random spot. <laughs> like an emergency part of the hospital. We're kind of wondering if we were gonna have to sleep over, but we made it out okay. We were there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, the results are in. I got a phone call from the nurse. Drum roll. I don't know if you can tell from my face. I'm so happy his toe is not broken. For those of you who've been watching for a while, this is our second broken false alarm. We, it's so hard to know, especially with a toe, whether it's sprained, I think ankle, same thing. It's hard to know if it's sprained, if it's bruised, if it's broken, because honestly, all of them hurt really badly. It was crooked though. His toe was crooked, which that made us think concern. that was a little off. Yeah, exactly. In fact, when I called the pediatrician, asking if I should even bring him in for a broken toe, because you know, there's not really a lot you can do for it. They said, if the toe is not straight, then you need to bring him in. So that's why we brought him in. His toe was kind of crooked. It was it had like a big, kind of a bump, like a swollen bump on the side of it. Turns out it's just sprained or bruised, which is great news because we don't have to do anything. He doesn't have to stay off of it and it will heal really fast. So good news for Turin. We're he so, so happy. He and soccer and bike ride to his heart's content. Happy summer, Turin. I know, honestly, I was thinking other than soccer, what would summer be if he couldn't ride a bike? What would summer be if he couldn't learn to surf? So good news all around. So, 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 so happy. All right, guys, we are out here at the outlet. We have not gotten to do any summer shopping for our kids because it's been super difficult to go shopping. So we decided to put our masks on and head out to find our kids a few things for the summer. And you guys would think that it is not summer given the windstorm that we are currently in right now. I mean, look at Lindsay's hair, it's insanity. They're wearing a jacket because it's so cold today. So our kids love, they kind of love my style of clothing. Would you agree? We kind of like, you know, being short, short. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, well, not short shorts. <laughs> like the board shorts, t-shirts. We're going to Vans, we're gonna go to Tilly's, we might go to Quicksilver. I'm just trying to get some awesome summer. I don't know if you guys can hear us right now, but hopefully some awesome summer clothes. Guys, this is actually one of our favorite stores. All right, we stopped at Quicksilver and we had a little bit of success there. Like most stores, they're super, super low on stock because of COVID. It just affects the factories where the clothes are being made and the shipping is affected. So when you're shopping for twins, that can make it a little bit trickier to find two of anything and they don't have to dress the same but sometimes it is fun to get them twin clothes because they're twins. So we had a little bit of success there. So you guys are gonna have to come back tomorrow because we are gonna have to do a fashion show trying on our entire shopping haul. Guys, we are very happy Turn did not break his little toe. <laughs> Aren't we Ava? The little piggy. It's not broken, thank heavens. It was crooked though, which is kind of weird. But I know, and the poor guy was limping. He's definitely in in a little bit of pain, but I guess that's the trade-off that comes with playing some pretty competitive sports. We gotta protect our retirement. <laughs> Turns leg. Shouldn't you be in bed? Yeah. <laughs> Mom and Dad have break my teeth. 
Oh yeah, we gotta brush your teeth. those nice little pearly whites. I would say the shopping was moderately successful. I found a really cool sweatshirt. What do you think? Mm. So you're supposed to save that for the fashion show tomorrow. <sighs> Delete it. Delete it. <laughs> Ooh, guys, we got some pretty exciting stuff coming up tomorrow. So, you know that lake that we got to go to called Last Chance Lake? A couple couple videos back. We'll put the link above now. You can just click check that out. How'd we you guys... ended up meeting that family that we yes, ended up loving. That one. Yes. Yeah. That darling family yeah. that we met has invited us to come up for the weekend to stay overnight, and we are so excited. We're going up with another family that we love that you've probably seen before, the Hennemans and we're all gonna just party up there. We're so excited. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Boating, water skiing. Anyway, so we are excited to take you guys there tomorrow, but if you are new to our channel, what should they do, Ava? See ya tomorrow. <laughs> no, they're supposed they to subscribe. subscribe. If you could just subscribe to, just subscribe, that would could be. Could you subscribe to just our subscribe channel? To, just subscribe no, below. Subscribe down below. Down below. Yes, yeah, subscribe <laughs> down below. Turn on the notification bells, people. And? Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Okay, there is a question that we keep getting over and over and over and we keep forgetting to talk about in yep. the vlog. And it happens to be about this guy. Yep. What does everyone keep asking us? If I made the choir. <laughs> So, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, a couple of months ago, Landon did an audition video for the One Voice Children's Choir. They're a super cool choir. You'll have to check them out on YouTube. They've got incredible music videos. So we submitted his original audition and he got a call back, which we've heard from many people was a huge honor because a ton, 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 ton of people auditioned for this choir. So they said, in and of itself, that is such an honor that you got a callback. So we yeah. practiced and he went back for a callback where he did a live audition, yeah. where he sang the song in front of a group of judges and a group of kids. Really kind of a scary experience, but he was so brave. Well, really... obviously I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> other people, so. He's pretty dang brave. I would have been shaking in my boots. Yes, yeah. So, went back for the second audition and then it was about a month before we heard. We got an email and tell them what we found out. I did not end up making it. <laughs> So Lando didn't end up making the choir, which is a bummer. It would have been so awesome to be part of the One Voice Children's Choir, but we've talked about the fact that he's already part of an incredible choir. But the good news is, is that they could say that you could try out for next year, so. Yes, exactly. In fact, we were talking about it with him. There were so many talented singers. I don't even know how they began to choose who they added to their choir. So many incredible, talented kids, so many deserving kids. And they said that most of the kids who make the choir try out two or three times before they ever make it. So I love Lando's positive attitude over here. He's just yeah. gonna try out again next year. Yeah, I was fine with it. I, I know I can do the other choir still. My other choir is still amazing. So. The other choir he's part of is truly incredible. So that helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but regardless of the outcome, so proud of this guy over here for auditioning. He did yeah. such an awesome job. And it's part of life. Sometimes we get what we want and sometimes we don't, so. I did really good. <laughs> yeah. Send all the love over here for Mr. Lando, but yeah. just to answer all of your questions, he did not make the choir this year. Hopefully next year. Mm, yep, yeah, hopefully next year. All right, we have been packing, 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 packing this morning. Ice pack. Because we're all going in different directions. Justin actually left early this morning for Park City. He's got a work conference up there. So I decided to join him. He's staying in a beautiful part of Park City in a beautiful hotel called the Montage Deer Valley. So I'm gonna go up there. He's gonna be busy with work the whole time and I'm just going to enjoy the spa in the pool. <laughs> As she says, the spa in the pool. I might head to the outlets, but definitely going to lay by the pool and just enjoy some quiet time. And hopefully I'll get to see Justin here or there for dinner or at night or whenever I can catch him. The kids are going over to Aunt Stephanie and Uncle McKay's house. Woo! With cousins Penny and Poppy. So we're getting them all packed up over here. They're bringing their squish mellows, which are from one, <laughs> which they love so much. They got these from one of our awesome subscribers, Tay. Thank you so much for those. They just love, love, love them. We've got, yep, Ashley's got his over here. Lando, you gotta go get yours. We've got stuff packed up for the pool. They've got some exciting plans. Stephanie is going to take them to the pool take them to in and out Tonight they're going to watch the playoffs because the Jazz and the Suns are playing. And the, no, the, 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 now, do you want to explain why this is a big deal, Ash? 
Uh, because her sister is a big Suns fan, but she grew up in both places. So her... I grew up in Wisconsin. My family is all from Wisconsin. I grew up there till I graduated from high school, but my little sister was 13, I think, when they moved to Arizona. So she's a big. This is a really Suns tough fan. playoff between yeah. the Bucks and the Suns. Because so one thing that's good is the Suns have really good players, but the Bucks have a really guy who can carry them to the win. There but, you have it. So they're both good teams. Yeah. Ashley knows the stats. <laughs> so they're going to have a fun basketball party tonight. She's going to get pizza tonight for the mm -hmm. basketball party. They're going to have cookies and ice cream. And Gatorade. And Gatorades and all the things. Popcorn. It's going to be a party. party they're bringing their Xbox to play with Uncle McKay. We've got it all packed up over here. All right, Ava's being a huge helper over here. She's lighting up the Squishmallows. Thank you very much, Ava May. Got all the video games packed in here. This is going to be the sleepover of a lifetime. They actually asked that we pack some Lego sets because Uncle McKay wants to do some Legos with them. So all four kids are heading to Stephanie's tonight, but tomorrow afternoon, Stephanie is going to be sending Turin off to scout camp. He, this is not his first scout camp. He actually went on quite a few camp outs before COVID, but this is the first one that they've had since COVID. So he's very excited. They're going up to a place called Lava Hot Springs, which I've heard is really cool. Our family's never been there. It's in Idaho. They actually have not only the Lava Hot Springs there, but they have a really cool pool area with a bunch of platforms. So he's going to have so much fun when he's there. So we're getting him all packed up and ready to go. We've got a sleeping pad for him to sleep on. We've got a sleeping bag. He actually has to bring a tube because they are going to float the river on the last day. They don't leave out any fun on these campouts for these boys. We've got a pillow. He's bringing his minky. Doesn't go anywhere without that. Best blankets on the planet. AirPods. Hmm. I wonder if that was on the list. On the list as well is a bunch of soft food because let's see those braces. They are still hurting like crazy. So he's got ibuprofen. That bunch work. And a bunch of doesn't work. Yes, it does. It works for me. And a bunch of soft food. And he's going to have a great time. How excited are you on a scale from 1 to 10? Because right now you just look like you're in pain. Uh, eight. You're excited? <laughs> I can just see the excitement coming out of your bones. That'd be a 10 if my mouth Oh, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm going to miss you so much. Ava, your face is breaking my heart. Kids are so excited to go hang out with their cousins, but this was the first time I can remember in a long time. They were really sad to see me go. Ava was crying as I left and it was killing me. It was breaking my heart. It's really hard. It's really hard to step away from the kids and do things like this. And I'm so glad when I do, but man, ripping off that band-aid is so hard. And honestly, I miss them so much when I'm here, but they're gonna have so much fun with Aunt Stephanie and Uncle McKay and their cousins. And it will go by really fast. I just got here to the resort and it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. First stop is the swimming pool. The sun isn't really out, but the scenery is incredible. This is truly a pool just sitting in the middle of the mountains. Just hanging out in the hot tub all by myself so amazing. Justin was so worried that I would be bored because he has a lot of meetings while he's up here this weekend. And I said, no way. Moms do not mind alone time one bit. <laughs> so if you are a mom and you know what I'm saying, comment down below. A few days of just rest and relaxation and uh, hanging out by yourself at the pool, don't mind it one bit. But when you're a mom, you also don't stop worrying about your kids. And my sister just barely called to tell me that Landon slammed his finger in the car door. It's purple. It looks awful. I feel so bad for him. She said he didn't cry one tear. He is so tough. I'm like, yes, yes he is. But poor guy's off to a bad start this weekend. He's got a, a dark purple fingernail. All right, back in the room. Justin is not back yet. He is eating dinner with his work conference thing. So I'm getting dinner on my own. I just ordered room service salmon. Is this as good as it gets or what? 
And we've got the game on, the Suns versus the Bucks. Well, I'm ready to dig in. They brought me all these rolls. Heaven help me, I might eat all of them. And yum, that looks delicious. Finally found this guy. He's back for the night. Guys, it is 11.49 at night and I just got back to the room and uh, well. Room service. Room service. <laughs> and what do you know? Justin ordered cookies. And wings. <laughs> Guys, the Montage, if you're watching this, one of the nicest places I've ever been. RET Ventures, if you're watching this, thanks for hosting. This place is amazing. Good morning, welcome back. Just running into the school to pick up Turin. We are going to head to a second opinion orthopedic surgeon to find out what's going on with his knee. He has been out of soccer for over three months now. He's going crazy. We just wanna know what the future looks like. We wanna know, does he really need surgery? Could we just be patient, give this more time? Will it heal on its own? Is it even an OCD lesion? So second opinion coming today, here we go. Got turbo. We're in a little bit of a hurry because I completely forgot we had to stop and get medical records. So they have a picture of the MRI when we get to the orthopedic surgeon. So I'm huffing and puffing. It's because we're running a little bit late. Yeah! 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 Okay. Terrence pointing out to me that he is not huffing and puffing. Even though he hasn't been playing soccer for three months, he's still in much better shape than me. Not true. We made it. We called ahead to make sure they would still take us. And it's all good. We are here at Primary Children's Hospital downtown, which Turin's not remembering at all. And I'm reminding him that when he was little, he would come along to lots and lots of appointments when the twins were little. Talking about it is actually bringing back all the feels because that was kind of a crazy time in our lives. And this guy was like my partner in crime, my little helper. He's so little, but man, I needed his help. They just took brand new x-rays. I'm secretly hoping that when they take the x-rays, they're gonna be like, magic, it's gone. We don't even know what you're talking about. Let's hope. <laughs> Grass your fingers, Turin. <laughs> okay, we have some pretty good news to share with you, but I can't share it with you right now because that appointment took forever and Turin was starving when I picked him up from school this morning. Food, 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 food. So we had to get this boy some food. Okay. <laughs> He's beyond starving. Okay, the situation is under control. Turbo got his frosted lemonade from Chick-fil-A. Less angry now. <laughs> he was dying. He was so hungry when I picked him up for his appointment and I said, why didn't you text me? I would have brought you a snack. Then we stop at the hospital. Then we drive 45 minutes to get up there. Then we wait in the office for I think an hour and 15 minutes. Then we saw the first doctor. Then we saw the surgeon. Then we drove all the way to Chick-fil-A. He thought he was gonna die. He was so hungry. <laughs> But on to the important stuff. I'm so glad we got a second opinion. We really liked this orthopedic surgeon. He was recommended by our physical therapist. He is actually, I believe, the surgeon that does everything for the University of Utah and all of their athletes and RSL. He sees a lot of athletes. He sees a lot of injuries that are due to playing sports. So after evaluating him, he said it can be hard to tell the difference between the two, but he said that because of the mobility in that specific knee, he thinks that the kneecap was sliding over over and hit the bone really hard. Ouch. So it's more of a contusion than an OCD lesion. He says we can't know for sure, but he says that at this point he does not recommend doing surgery. He thinks there's a good chance it will heal on its own. And he said at this point he needs to start trying things. So we're gonna go back to doing physical therapy. He's going to start going to back to soccer practice in just a couple of weeks and doing drills, easy passing stuff. And the physical therapist is gonna guide him into slowly getting back into soccer, eventually scrimmaging 
being at practice and then eventually getting back into the games. So, Turn and I are super pumped from that appointment. It's looking better. It's looking like a good chance he won't need surgery. He said only time will tell. He said if he gets out there and all the pain starts to come back, his knee starts slipping again, then we have to go in and do surgery to help stabilize that knee. But we're hopeful with all the strengthening that he's going to do with PT that he'll go back into it stronger. He said that if it's strong around the knee, then the kneecap should not slip back and forth like that. So we're feeling super happy that he did not say we're going to do surgery tomorrow and that Turn can go back to soccer because he has missed it so much. You never really know what you're missing until it's gone, huh, Turbo? Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. That is true. See ya. <laughs> They're all home from school. They are just hanging out, getting some snacks, some after school snacks. We've got Ashy's first game of the season. I'm so excited to see you play. And I hear that your assistant coach is gonna be there. Turin. <laughs> He's getting all suited up. He's ready to go warm up with this team for his very first game of the season. He's got big brother over here giving him pep talks, telling him what to do, telling him that he needs to score a goal tonight. Is that gonna happen, Ash? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> we are Team Ashy. We are big fans of Ashton Bingham. We're gonna be cheering extra loud out there, so when you hear screaming, <laughs> it's not an emergency. We're just cheering for you. Okay. Okay, halftime, their team is down five to zero. So rough start to the game, but Ashton is playing so awesome out there. I've been dying ever since I got here because Turin was genuinely so excited that he had a game tonight. He's been cheering him on, coaching him on what to do. He hasn't left his side. He is being such a cute older brother to Ash tonight. His biggest fan, I told you, siblings fight all the time. So when we have these good moments, it's the best. We are home from the soccer game. Ashton's team scored a few goals, ended the game on a good note. So proud of this guy over here. He played awesome. And the kids are dying to show you guys a fort that they made this past weekend. It's definitely the biggest fort we've ever had in our house. We have a secret to the best fort making. <laughs> Ava's giant gymnastics bar made for the perfect place to hang the blankets from. Ava, give us a tour. So this is the bed. That's where you sleep, okay. And then from here is another way to get out. It's huge in here. When someone knocks on the front door, this is how you say hello. All right, we are headed to bed. Yippee. Thanks for hanging out with us today as we found out the great news about Turin's knee. Send him all the good luck wishes as he starts the road back to getting back into soccer. Justin comes home tomorrow. He is having a great time in St. George with his company. In fact, should we show them the video of him practicing his Olympic synchronized diving? We better cut to that real fast. Oh, Olympics, here we come. Are you kidding me? Make sure you like this video, subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, welcome back to our channel. As you can see, we are feeling a lot of nerves this morning. We dropped off Ash and Ava to school today, but we are headed to an appointment that we have been feeling kind of nervous about. We are headed to the orthopedic surgeon. Now, the last time that we were at the orthopedic surgeon, we got a hip x-ray that indicated that Landon might need hip surgery. We talked about it in our blog, but it was probably nine months ago. So for anyone who's new here, you can go back and watch that video. But basically it's for a hip surgery that is a ginormous 
enormous undertaking. It's a major surgery, major, major surgery that takes at least a year to recover from. And it was pretty hard news to find out. In the meantime, we decided to do the SPML and a couple of other things in hopes of at least maintaining his hip position, if not by some miracle, having it go back in. I know it's possible. It's not something that any doctor has really told us will happen, but we've been praying and hoping and doing everything we can in hopes that we could possibly make that happen. So he had a surgery in February. He's doing amazing as you've all seen, um, but we have no idea what his hip looks like. There's really no way to know without an x-ray so today's the day where we're gonna go and get an x-ray and see how his hips doing so obviously as mom like putting on my brave face and staying strong but seeing him emotional this morning is making me really emotional so I reminded him that his body is strong and amazing and can do great things and that we're just gonna stay positive and until you know we get the x-ray we don't even really know it could be really great news so we are going into this with positive attitude and hoping for the best wish us luck We just finished up getting his x-rays. Now we're sitting in the room waiting for the doctor to come in. He's gonna come in, do his evaluation on Landon. And then Landon has decided that he would rather go sit in the waiting room. I don't wanna cry when he's in here. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the conversation can feel a little stressful and make him a little bit emotional, so I thought that was a good idea. And then Landon and I can just talk about what I learned when I get out to the waiting room, so that's the plan. How happy are we right now? Uh, that was a relief. It's 40% out still. We are so relieved. We went into that appointment with more nerves than we want to admit to because we just wanted Landon's hip to be doing well. So what we found out is that Landon's hip looks about the same that it did last December. So it's stabilizing, which is a good thing. That could be from the nerve block in his adductors. It could be from his surgery. He said the best thing you can do is to walk on it. He said that weight bearing and walking is the best thing that you can do for your hip. So Landon's just gonna keep doing his thing, doing amazing things with his strong body. And we're gonna check in again in six months. But right now we are just feeling so grateful, aren't we, Land? Yeah. It's a good day at our house. Yeah. Okay, just getting home from dropping off Landon back at school. I'm about to turn around and go pick up Turin because he's got his first session of PT since we saw the orthopedic surgeon the other day. He got the second opinion and he's going back to PT. So he's got his first appointment today. And I've been joking with my sister that there have been very few days where my kids have actually been in school all day because we've had so many appointments, so many doctor's appointments and so much PT. So I got out my calendar a few minutes ago and counted. There's been seven days where we've had appointments and I've had to pull somebody out of school at some point in the day and four days where we have not. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to many more days with the kids at school all day so I can actually get a project done around here. Is that too much to ask? This is why we never finish any of our house projects. We were talking about this the other day. We have all these remodeling plans and they always just get halted because we're so busy all the time. I'm busy, we're all busy, everybody's busy. On another note, I am feeling so grateful that this morning is over with and that it went so well. The fact that his hip has stabilized and has not gotten worse is a great sign. Would we love for it to go back in? Of course, but I don't know how realistic it is for it to go back in and for it at least not to be getting worse is huge. We're so, so grateful that at least for right now, hip surgery is not something that we have to worry about. Going into today, I knew that I was going to have to be strong, that I was going to have to be really positive because I knew that Landon would feel really stressed out and really nervous about it. I did a pretty good job at holding it together and staying strong, but underneath I was dying inside. Watching him be so upset and so nervous and so emotional was just 
filling me inside. And I think that's the hardest part about all of this, about our journey and our life in Holland is watching him feel so much stress and so much pain at times when it feels like a 10 year old should just be living a carefree life, that childhood is a beautiful thing because we don't have to worry about those kinds of things. And so as his mom, I just don't want him to have to go through so much at such a young age. I wish so badly that I could take it away from him and I can't. So I guess just having a real moment right now, that's probably one of the hardest parts about our life in Holland is watching him have a hard time. All right, Turbo's first day back to PT. We talked to his physical therapist and we're excited. I'm he had to go to back to practice in I think two and a half weeks or something around there. Yes, and he can start doing drills, anything that is not one-on-one. -on -one. He has to be able to pass a certain test to be able to go back to full on playing games. She said that there's even kids who aren't injured who probably wouldn't pass the test just because of certain like muscle weaknesses and different things. So I think he's gonna go back to soccer stronger than ever. Coming. The big, <laughs> I'm coming. I'm back, baby. <laughs> the biggest thing is that we want him to go back strong so that that kneecap is supported and not so loose so it doesn't just re-injure and then end up needing surgery. So that's the plan and we're feeling good about it. Yep. All right, we are home for the night, having a little leftovers tonight. We're having leftover sourdough pancakes and leftover spaghetti because we are having gummy bears. Totally healthy. That is not nutritious, mister. Because that's how we roll on weeknights. We are getting home 7.30. So we're just having an easygoing dinner tonight. We are also starting the packing process. Now, if you don't know what I'm referring to, we are going to visit Jared and Brittany. And the craziest part about that is that Justin is not coming home. We are meeting him in Florida. He will be gone a total of 15 days. It's a really long trip for him. Started in Nauvoo, ended up in Chicago, and then he's flying to Florida from there where he has one more day of work before we do our fun trip with Jared and Brittany. So I'm in charge over here of getting our whole family packed up to the airport and flown across the country by myself. So wish me luck. We're getting the packing process started tonight. We're getting our laundry done. Starting all of the packing. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. Day two, back from vacation. Day two in reality over here. We had a little mishap this morning. Dropped the kids off at school. An entire green smoothie got dumped out all over the car. So I've got a little bit of a mess waiting for me. I like to bring in some of my Kevin's famous chili. Bunch of green smoothie all over the car mat, all over the carpet. But most importantly, it got all over Ava's white shoes. She was very concerned about it. We had to turn around, she had to change her shoes, and I promised her that when she got home from school today, her shoes would look good as new. So I've gotta get those in the washing machine and hope that they turn white again. I've got a lot of things I've gotta get done today, a whole bunch of errands, a bunch more unpacking that we haven't finished yet from our vacation because we've got a busy night ahead tonight. Tonight we've got a lot of activities going on, a lot of sports. We're gonna be running in three different directions between just Justin and I, Landon starts choir, Turin's first night back to soccer, soccer practice, and Ava's first night back to tumbling. So we've got a lot going on tonight, wish us luck. Okay, we are off to our activities tonight. We are meeting up with Justin. He's already taken Ava to tumbling, Landon's have been picked up for choir, Ashton's going to be joining Justin and Annabelle at soccer practice. I'm gonna be managing the choir and the tumbling. Picked up sandwiches, I'm like the little sandwich fairy tonight. I'm gonna be delivering sandwiches to everybody at the activities tonight. What's wrong, buddy? Someone at work ate my sandwich. Well, what did the police say? Turns getting in a quick bite before he heads to his very first soccer practice after being gone for four months. This is a really big day for him. We are hoping that his body is going to feel really good as he goes back to running and drills. That's all he's been cleared for. So honestly, he might only be able to do a small portion of his practice, depending on what the coach has planned. But Turbo, how are you feeling about going back to soccer tonight? Good. You excited? Mm -hmm. He has missed soccer, you guys. Sometimes you don't realize how much you love something until it's gone. It'd be a paradise put up a fucking line.
We just got back home. I was hoping to make it in time for choir with Lando, mm -hmm. but I didn't quite make it. I was trying to be in too many places at once, and when I pulled up, they were walking out. So, number one, I'm gonna promise you that next week I'm gonna video some of choir because it's one of my favorite things to watch. Every time that I go, the beautiful music is so uplifting. It always makes my day better. It gives me all the feels, and I love watching this guy do what he was born to do. He's a singer. Yes, I am. He's a singer, and it's and good to be back in choir. It's been a whole year. Yes. Hey guys, guess what? I also am doing voice lessons. That's brand new. Something brand new for Landon, something he's never done before. Yep. This year he's starting voice lessons. Tomorrow, yep. first day. I do choir the day, and then Tuesdays, and then voice lessons Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. Lots and lots of singing coming from this boy this year. I have a surprise for you. Remember this morning when your shoes were covered in green smoothie? What? Can you see the green anymore? They're good as new. I washed them in the washing machine and they're perfectly clean. Wow. This is amazing! Eva, tell everyone why you have that on the back. Turn John with cardamom on girl on my bag of my shoes. <laughs> So I'm telling them to go to the other one because they kind of looks weird. Lisa batch. On our flight to Florida, Ava and Turin were drying pictures of Nike shoes and they were begging me to let them color her brand new white shoes. And I told them no. And then I found out <laughs> a few days later that Turin drew on the back anyway. Little stinker. Maybe when they're a little bit older, I'll let them go to town and design their own Nike shoes. All right, we have stopped by Turin's soccer practice. As Lindsay mentioned earlier, it is his very first practice back. So we're kind of excited to see what he's doing. He actually looks pretty good so far. They've got him some pretty intense drills, rubber bands around their waist, and then they're pulling them against the fence and like fake running. I'll show you guys here in a second. But he's looking pretty good. We're excited to get back into soccer. Are we excited to get back into soccer? Yes. Yeah, we're not. Get to treat on your market set. Go, go get him, man. <laughs> oh, look at the beautiful moon in the background. You see that ash? Right. It's there. Half crescent moon. Yeah, right there. Hey, man, come. All right, well, turns not doing much, as you guys see from the video. Most of it's being scrimmage. Therefore, he's kind of there just tossing the ball in, taking it easy. He did a little warm-ups. Looked really good in warm-ups. But again, all in all, I think he is supposed to kind of ease back into practice. So he's really just sitting on the sideline, kind of tossing the balls in. He looked fresh, though. I'll be honest. He looked really fresh in warm-ups, which was really good and, I think, enlightening. But I think that the coach is going to take it a little bit easy on him. Hopefully, it won't be for too long. I'd give it another week or so, and hopefully he'll be at a little more full capacity. But I think he's just happy to be back. In the meantime, Ashton's over here chasing Anna. I told him the winner gets a treat. I lost because well, there's no way I can it's win. It's to one, uh, zero to one, <laughs> right? Or they say in soccer, one nil, Annabelle. Annabelle, there's no way I can be Annabelle. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in the car, rolling around 8.15 here in the evening time. Quick little report from Turin. Turbo, how was your knee? Oh, great. You looked actually very solid. I took video of you warming up, doing that rubber band workout. You actually look pretty strong and solid, and the coaches actually said you look pretty solid, too. So we're thinking maybe this week we take it easy, and then next week we kind of ease back in to a little bit more strenuous exercise. Is that what you're thinking? Mm -hmm. A little more one-on-one, -on -one, a little more scrimmaging. Yeah. Guys, season starts. Here it comes. Game in two weeks. what happens when your husband's really tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up here, I'm up here, guys. My eyes are up here. Well, I guess it's just gonna be me tonight, guys. <laughs> guys, welcome back to real life. I don't think I love this angle either. I'm too hot. 
because we made it. We made it through a busy night. We're kind of back to busy schedules. I don't know how I feel yeah, about it. It is kind of crazy. I just sent me a screenshot of my calendar for tomorrow, and it's like, uh, wow. So. The fall time is always very busy at our house, and we're actually not even doing flag football this year yeah. for the first time in the well, longest. Kind of because Taryn's injured, but yeah. Yeah. But guys, kind of fun and excited to have my parents over tomorrow for dinner. Yes, come kind of back fun. tomorrow. It's going to be kind of fun to have, have them over. over for dinner. It'll be the first time the kids have seen them actually in more than a year. They've been dying to see them. They're so excited. We're going to make some posters. We're going to make some yummy dinner. It should be fun. And then this girl's heading out on a little girl's trip. So I am. you get a lot of me and the kids for the next few days. This is definitely one of the busiest months that we have traveling in our entire lives. Not on purpose. We planned our Florida trip and then a couple of other things just kind of happened. Yeah, kind one of, of them up. being the girls trip and another one coming up soon that's going to be really awesome too. That we didn't plan but is going to be awesome. So. I'm going to come down here. <laughs> wow. Nice. This, is, this would be like if we had the same height. I look short right now. Like look at this. Honey. Had you married a man your height, this is what it would look like. I like this. It'd be like so much easier to video. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below. <laughs> Give us a like for this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Push. Point your toes up. Up 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 up. Push. 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 Maybe they're gonna give you some nice little medicines and you're gonna fall nice and sleep. You know what stinks though is you're gonna fall asleep and then you're gonna wake up before you're actually supposed to go to sleep tonight and then you and I are gonna be up all night watching movies that we already predicted. Wait, are we gonna fall asleep? No, no, not right now. Not fall asleep. I'm saying you might fall asleep because you're tired. Did you tell them on this day we're not gonna go anymore? Yeah. So, how are you feeling? Okay. Guys, we're over here. We've kept the camera off pretty much most of the time, but Lana's starting to feel much better, aren't you, bud? Yeah, they got this really cool blanket warmer. Well, we are coming to you from the emergency room. Today took a little bit of an unexpected turn of events. As you saw this morning, the boys got perms, and one part that we didn't really show you is that Landon was having some focal seizures. He started to look really tired when he was having the perm, and I kind of noticed he was off. And then as he was getting his hair washed, he started to, you know, have one of his focal seizures where he just feels kind of dazed. He ended up having a second one during the perm. But they're not like full-blown seizures. It's just where he kind of just loses awareness for a brief moment. Okay. He's just kind of... He still talks nice. to us, yeah. but he just kind of dazed. So they're actually really pretty minimal compared to what he's been through. And harmless, yeah. But he feels kind of tired. He feels a little bit off when he's having these focal seizures. He just kind of has a more tired day. So we went on with our day as we usually do, and we went to Penny's soccer game, and we went to Ashton's soccer game, and he really, for the most part, fine. was fine, yeah. other than feeling tired. And got home, and we all kind of took a little breather for a minute and then Justin and I went to run an errand with Ava with Ava yep. and we got a phone call we were about 40 minutes away <laughs> further away than we normally are. And so Turn told us that Landon just was kind of acting a little funny on the couch, and so we FaceTimed, and he, again, having a focal seizure for sure. And so we said, okay, we'll, we'll hurry and kind of leave and come home. And then he called me back, maybe just a few minutes later, saying, Dad, Landon's having like a full seizure, so, you know, where he's like twitching and convulsing and stuff. So I quickly called Clay McNeil, and I said, hey, Clay, do you think you'd come over to the house for a minute and just sit with the kids while we're hurrying home. So Clay went over there, and of course, we were 40 minutes away. We hit some traffic along the way, and as we're driving home, at least two or three times, I get a phone call from Turin saying he's having another seizure. So as you can imagine, we are pretty panicked. Yep, traveling travel fast. Uh, luckily, Lots of tears. Honestly, Clay, gosh, I, I get a little emotional when I talk about my buddies who are supportive, but Clay was there. He's always been just somebody I can call in a pinch. He's actually taken land of the hospital like three times with me. So incredible human being. Incredible. So thank you, Clay, if you're watching this, for being there for us. I Again. But anyway, so Clay was actually handling it, watching, holding Landon as he was, you know, having a seizure. Anyway, we pulled in right as kind of another big one started, just in time to give him some medicine. The medicine slowed it down. It actually, we thought, kind of stopped it at first. He fell asleep kind of on the ground with a pillow and a blanket. Just, it was, you know, Clay, myself, Lindsay, we were all kind of just sitting there watching him. And we thought it was over. So, you know, we sent Clay home. And we were really grateful yeah. because, to be honest with you, that rescue medication has not worked for a very long time. Yeah. But anyway, and then about 20 minutes later, he just started having another. One. So I said, Lindsay, just grab the grab the keys. We're jumping in the van. We're heading over here. So here we are. However, he was conscious during all of them. Um, this is the first time which he's is ever unique. come to the hospital yeah. conscious. Yeah. He's like, Dad, this is the worst seizure I've ever had, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> 
The difference is, is he just is aware of all that's going on, whereas before when he has them, he is just not aware of anything. So he wakes up, he's like, oh, I'm in the hospital? Like, yeah. He's now gotten two large dosages of medication to stop the seizures, and it ha he hasn't fallen asleep at all. He's been wide he's, awake hanging out with us. <laughs> in fact, he's over here just listening to every word. He's like, say hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were just laughing with him. I said, Landon, the entire time that you were having seizures. He had seizures, humor the whole time. You were hilarious. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> and guys, we don't video that stuff because honestly, it's just too personal to video. But you know, these moments were okay after the fact to, to bring you guys into a glimpse of our life in Holland. But yeah, he, these are the real moments. And he does have quite a funny sense of humor <laughs> during his seizures. So we've been having a little Saturday night date, date night. with Lando. I don't think it was a better date night than this right here. Hanging out with my wifey and my boy. All right, buddy, how goes it over there? What? <laughs> <laughs> you were cracking some jokes here pretty much the entire night. You know what I'm kind of relieved about? Huh? That you got a perm this morning, so you had some fresh looking hair when we got here. Yeah, and I had some episodes, so cheese. 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 <laughs> Lando. What? Tell everybody why we're trying to bust out of here. You want you game. <laughs> we got to get home for that BYU this, football game tonight. This kid. Plus my seizure's over. So. Yeah, so it's time so... time to out of here, eat some dinner, watch a game, eat a cookie. Your seizure's like so over. It's so yesterday. I left in Holland. I have to tell you something. <laughs> one time I had a seizure and I had nothing for it and I stayed up till 1.30 in the morning and we got in and out. Ooh. You guys got in and out at 1.30 in the morning? I think we may have after post-seizure activity many years ago. What a fun dad. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's a good memory. Wish I was there. All right, Lando, what? we're going home. We're going home. Where should baby. we go first? Ooh, ooh. I don't know. That's a good question. I know. This is the worst part, the band -aid. Where is it? It's right here in your hand. Is it blue? Right your blue? Nope, that's my hand. You wanna fill it? It's right here. And it goes right there. It's your arm. Are you almost done? Yeah. I'm just gonna pull it out. Done. And it's out. That's the worst part. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I know. It's like getting those band-aids ripped off, huh? Rips all your hair out. Yeah. If you were bald. <laughs> then it wouldn't be so bad, huh? <laughs> it's really smooth. Sometimes I stare at it and imagine a little chick. Popping out. Maybe you should just be calm. Get everything out. And then you don't feel anything. Are you ready? How many are there? There's four. Do you want to rip them off? I guess. Look, right there. Oh. The good news no, is. Last time you got the stickiness all over you, man. Can you pull the edge? Yeah. Okay, pull hard. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh good. Okay. Next. There's one Next. right here. Maybe use your other arm if you can. Okay. Can you use your left hand at all? What? What chip? You did this one. Oh, look, you Let's have one stuck to your hand. Okay, I don't know. Okay, try and pull this one off. He was trying off. to sneak that one home. Oh, there you go. You okay. wanted these as a souvenir, too? Okay, try to pull that one off. Oh. No, try to use your left hand, though. I want you to use your left hand. Oh, gosh, this is hard. Use your left hand. Okay. Oh, oh good work. Good job. Yeah. Okay, last one. Here. one. Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> Amazing. We're all done. Party, party, party! We're all done, boy. You ready to go home? Well, he's yeah. ready to go get something to eat. Oh, yeah, can he eat? You okay to eat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she says. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I started getting up, but. Well, that's because you all the blood's rushing your head. Your head hurts when you sit up. Do we look like twins? Yeah. I mean, if only you had a cool perm, maybe. Yeah. That's one detail we left out of today. We'll have to show them your haircut. Hey. No, we yeah. can Did you hear that? She said they're going to be your new favorite socks. Those are warm. Yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah, my brother had these socks and he would wear them to school with the grips <laughs> coming up above his <laughs> ankles. All right, you guys, we are so happy to be home. So happy that Landon did really quite remarkably well compared to a lot of 
the seizures that he's had. We decided to make a fun night of it. We got burgers and fries and chip cookies. This scoff by my dad is delicious. The truth is he made it fun because he was conscious the whole time. He really was cracking jokes to Clay. I mean, Clay was laughing. I mean, it was, it's, a, it's a serious situation. The truth is those types of seizures are not necessarily dangerous, but you have to get the seizure activity to stop. That's the important part. And so... And it's scary. It's just scary to watch necessarily, but he has some funny humor throughout that, again, we didn't we didn't really show because it's not appropriate, but, you know, <laughs> bless his heart, he does make us laugh. He definitely does. Mm. But I also want to be real right now and tell you, because this is our life in Holland, and tell yeah. you that tonight was hard on us. Trying to get home in a hurry to Landon, worrying that he was okay. Justin was driving fast. very fast, trying to get home. Ava was in the backseat crying. I was crying. I, we were so worried. He was on FaceTime. Because it can be scary, and it's emotional, and it's heavy. And I share that because I know that a lot of you are going through difficult things too, and I want you to know that that you're not alone and that it's hard and it's heavy and you really have to process it. The reason I think why today felt so heavy for both of us is because Landon hasn't had a seizure like that since last Christmas. And uh -huh. I think that we thought we were kind of through the woods. We thought we were- We hoped. Yeah, we really had high hopes that we were through the woods, that maybe he wasn't gonna have seizures like that anymore. We even were told by the neurologist that if he didn't have one for a year, we could try taking him off of medication. So it was discouraging and we're just gonna keep putting one foot in front of the other, but wanted to be a little bit more real with you guys today that we do have really hard days and today was one of those. But most of all, as you can imagine, it's really hard to watch Lennon go through these kind of things. It's so hard on him and it's so hard to watch your child suffer, especially at 10 years old, to go through things that you can't fix, you can't take away, knowing that it's so oh, hard yeah. on them. But the reality is, is I think our kids are much stronger than we give them credit for and Lennon is one of those He's kids. one tough cookie. So thanks for being here with us in our life in Holland. We appreciate each and every one of you and the constant love and support that you show Landon. Thanks for watching our journey and who want to bet. See you guys. See you guys.